4K. It's everyone ready for another episode of War Arms. Power Sedition. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of Warhams Fantasy. Thank you all so much for coming by. I would like to introduce Arendelle playing... Arno Fleischmann, the interrogator and up-and-coming witch hunter. I am Zorn the Bear. I am playing Baron Stackwell. And right below me on the screen is Speaker D playing as... Don't you know who I am? I'm playing Mercurian, the noble elf. Mm. And next up, Odorosi Ryder, the amazing person playing. There's hello. <coughs> I'm Odorosi, and I'm playing <laughs> Ziliana. Yeah, I was I'm, just I'm... hit by a like a beam of sickness or something. Oh, yeah, we leprosy yeah. moments. Yeah, we just got like Ziliana <laughs> like eight hundred, eight thousand years in the future. Yeah, We're... exactly. I'm gonna get some water. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm playing Ziliana. Are you guys ready for some ward hams? No, no, we, we no. quit. No, All right, I'm shut done. up. Or goodbye. <laughs> Did not give you. I don't actually shut that Warhams fantasy. Where to go? No. <laughs> <laughs> and then, of course, the one, the torturous skull viewing us all, who will be running this game session today, Thurston Hillman. Do, 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 do. I'm God. I mean, hi. Yes, uh, he is I'm, God. I'm, yes, God called GM, and I'm going to. Take the Bogenhafen kids to Bogenhafen. Yes, and if you like our Bogenhafen adventures, you can always visit the Warhams crew at warhams.tv. We have a schedule section that shows you when we were live, and on our Twitter and stuff like that, and on our Discord, we like to keep people up to date on what's going on. So if you're always confused of, where's this episode? Where is this? How does this work? What are you? Who are they? Anything you need to know. Warhams.tv will give you your answers. And with that, Thurston, what adventure do you have for us today? Well, I had, like, this whole thing planned, like, all this backstory, but apparently we're just heading straight to fucking Swampy's Pat. No, no, no. Okay, okay. okay yes. Let's, let's hop into it. So, uh, previously on uh, Warhams Fantasy, our intrepid band of chuckle fucks are on their way to Bogenhafen. After departing the imperial capital city of Altdorf, our adventurers traveled along the Weisbrook Canal, eventually reaching the city of Weisbrook for some well-deserved rest. However, it soon became apparent that the mystery man from the Konigsplatz in Altdorf had tailed our adventurers to Weisbrook. The man was arranging some kind of ambush, which our heroes managed to discern after tracking him down to a nearby inn. During this, they learned that the man was a bounty hunter in service to Sigmar. Uh, named Adolphus Kuftsus. Uh, Adolphus then led an attack on the uh, the ship the heroes had, had been on, the Barabelli, and our adventurers managed to intercept the ambush. After a tense battle on the deck of the barge, our heroes forced the bounty hunter to retreat uh, as he jumped into the water and Olympic swam away, uh, putting Ziliana to shame with his Olympic swimming. Uh, however, the, the remaining adventurers and then Ziliana quickly returned and quelled the fires on the deck. With the pressure on, the Barabelli's captain, Yosef, opted to immediately depart and make way to the city of Bogenhafen and, and leave Weisbrook to try to avoid anyone else who might uh, cause problems for, for the Barabelli and the crew. So, having put their foes behind them, our heroes can finally reach their destination and meet with the chief magistrate of the Schaffenfest to continue helping Baron reclaim the Stackwall Mine. All that being said, uh, we kind of have this lovely map here, and uh, our, our players have, have departed from Weisbrook and begin making their way down the River Bogan. The journey takes not, not a long amount of time, uh, but it is still a four-day journey down the river. During this uh, journey, I want to kind of go through everyone and hear what you're spending these four days doing. So we're going to start with one Baron Stackwall. Baron, what are you I... doing for four days on the barge? Uh, that's a good question. I guess yeah. I've been hunting rats the entire time. Is Baron, uh, on my sheet, I, since we, we got some experience last session. We did. And, um, I am now, I think I'm a full rat catcher now. 
the <gasps> yeah oh, uh, no rat. i'm a rat no 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 i'm a rat hunter that's no, right a rat hunter i've leveled up and i've been making sure the boat has been clean oh no you rats. are a rat catcher now you you were a rat hunter oh no no that's right, that's right i am rat catcher that's yes. right i've run here before no no wait yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. got yeah. it yeah sorry brain we got it so yeah that's what i've been doing just passively for it and then staring angrily at a gold looking elf just ever so often, you're just gonna like, I'm just matching with curious. Like, just, just going around, going, oh, yeah, yes, yes, of course. You just see, like, just, just red eyes just peering out from the other side of the boat, glaring. Well, that seems like a great opportunity for me to ask uh, Mercurian, what are you spending four days on the river barge doing? Yes, well, I was hoping to use this, da this time we have, these seven days on the luxurious shit-filled rivers of the human empire. I'm sure that they're nice in comparison to other human empires. Uh, <clears throat> I was hoping that I could talk my problems out with Baron, that we could finally have a heart-to-heart. -heart. Unfortunately, any time I get within ten yards of Baron, he stares at me like he's attempting to kill me with his brain. And, and so I'm instead, I've book. been practicing aerobics to get better at dodging the crossbows. I'm sure he'll be accidentally shooting at me later on. Oh, he's been practicing shots, but the practicings have been, like, really close to you, so that's how you've been practicing. Mm -hmm. And every so yeah. often he's like fucking just and he just he just dodge each one. He's like, fire it. All right, go dodge Mercurian, writes another thing in the book. Yeah. <laughs> and every time you see him, like he cat you catches his eyes, he just slowly points at the page, and it is nearly just blackened by all the times he had to overrid it, reserving the page for you. Yeah, at least once I've walked into the kitchen, you know, to go get, you know, whatever rations we have on the ship. You know, I've walked down the thing and it's like, oh, what exactly is that? And I've gone in and shortly after I've left, an arrow just boom, flies by the door, just landing where I was like two minutes ago. And just every time, every time. Close the fridge door. Baron's right there. <laughs> <Fridge>. <laughs> like, I know for some of the thing. But I just like to imagine that. He like, close the cupboard. Baron's there glaring. <laughs> Right. Excellent. Excellent. So that's uh Baron. Uh okay, okay. Uh Zilliana, your four days on the Barabelli. What are what My are you doing? Four days on the Barabelli. On the barge. Yes. Okay. Um well I'm probably making sure that Mercurian and Baron don't kill each other, first and foremost. Just like every time I see like an arrow fly past and just barely miss Mercurian's neck, just look down at Baron and give him this like now, Baron, we're all friends here. Kind are we? Of look. Are we really? Um, <laughs> we. I thought we were friends. I thought you'd try, I'd be friends with you. If you're not the one who ruined the chances of my mind. No, Baron. We're, we are all friends here, even Mercurian. Are you sure about that? You know, oh. one thing I've heard <laughs> back in the, you know, but your clans days, that a friend would take a crossbow bolt for you. You go, <laughs> shoot another one. <laughs> oh. Take somebody else's crossbow bolt for you doesn't mean... Wait, that's not what that expression means, right? I'm gonna turn his body into a fucking quiver. <laughs> 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 um, He's but doing beyond... calisthenics on the deck. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm just like and one and two and good. Feel the burn. The burn means it's working. Yeah, yeah. I'm probably He's working missing. out with Mercurian. Yeah, I'm, I'm completely oblivious. I'm sure Bench every time, him. every time you're not talking to Baron, who's like, I'm going to fucking kill him. You, you come up occasionally to Mercurian, and it's like, Oh, Zilliana, excellent. I'm glad you're here. Do you know what poisons are undetectable in air? You may have to do something. <laughs> <Jesus Christ. laughs> Mercurian. Yes. I'm gonna need you to stop thinking about that. I'm gonna need you to to put that train of thought to bed. I'm gonna need you to take a deep breath, smell the shit river. Just <laughs> yes, it's awful. And I'm gonna need you to calm down. You're right. We're gonna do some squats together. All right. Oh, good. We're going to do some squats. This is an excellent idea. Yes. Keeping ourselves fit and combat ready. And I assume the moment that he starts squatting, a crossbow bolt flies over. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. And immediately the cycle continues. <laughs> <laughs> but beyond real, real that, uh, oh, yeah. 
Yeah, what what were you improving while you were working out with Mercurian? Oh, yes, of course. I was uh, improving my strength. Uh, when Mercurian was uh, taking a rest between reps, I was bench pressing him. Uh... <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Every time um... you lift up and then come down, bolt. Up, down, down, bolt. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And that's probably the how best I way also... to improve. <laughs> yeah, that's how I also improved my agility. Um, you know, like picking up Mercurian and moving him around every time a bolt flies past. That's the spirit <laughs> Zoyana. He's bound to run out eventually. <laughs> um, weapon skill, uh, practicing a little bit of sword play and stuff. And because I have uh, upgraded to knight, I would like to attempt, I don't know what kind of uh, materials are on board, but I would like to make a little bit of uh, heraldry to put on my horse. Just a, like a really crudely done little banner of uh, Avalorn that I can just like put around its neck like a little horse scarf. Aw, what kind of skills do you have that would be good for that? <laughs> I definitely don't have a knitting skill. Uh, I have art. Um, I have, uh, have lore art, heraldry. Art, 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 art. I'll, let you, I'll let you do art. All right, let's 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 try art. Uh, and if this is a 100... I'm still keeping it. Okay. Poopy, <laughs> poopy tapestry. Here we go. Zilliana, Zilliana takes the art approach to design her own heraldry and rolls a 100. She designs her heraldry as a butt that is pooping. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It, it just like looks really phallic and nobody has the heart to tell her. You heard it here first. The phallic butt if it's 100. Okay. Uh, uh, what was it? Oh, God, my screen froze. What did hey, I roll? That's not awful. That's it a 31. To be a 30. <laughs> That's a success. Huh. Didn't even show up, huh? That's weird. Yeah, yeah. it's not showing up on the right. Oh, that's yes. oh. Foundry, Foundry. functioning in mysterious ways this week. Oh no. Well, uh... well, we'll continue. Yeah. Uh, oh. I might have to refresh the page real quick. But yeah, if it's like oh. a thirty something, it's probably like a little crudely done flag of Avalorn. Um, you know, the the pretty Crayon lady drawings. on it doesn't look quite as pretty, but <laughs> absolutely. Yeah, yeah, you, you 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 managed to cray on this up. Um, all right, uh, Arno, uh, as this is all going on, uh, dwarf versus elf. Uh, what are you doing for your four days on the Barabelli? Arno has been uh, deep within meditative thought in trying to improve uh, his ability to exert his will over people. Uh, he has been steadily working in the inner sanctum of the Barabelli, meaning the broom closet, uh, to improve his willpower and his toughness, with toughness by one and willpower by one, because he was very close to Witch Hunter, but he didn't have enough experience. And he also used that opportunity to improve uh, his cool-headed and his menacing talent. At which point he will emerge from the broom closet to no doubt this scene of skirmish going on between the elves and the dwarf. And he will use his newfound uh, extra thing of menacing to maybe call a halt to it. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Do you want to do you want to give me a uh, do you want to give me a an intimidate check at, uh, let's say, plus 20 because you've been hiding in the broom closet for so long? This is going to be very interesting. Oh my fucking god. Um, Plus six, astounding success. Yay! Yay, I'm terrified. Jesus. Yeah, um, and then I believe... There's, there's like a... Arno's just gonna emerge from there, and you can all see the light from the nearby deck disappear and emerge behind him as a black flame. He's, <laughs> he's, he's, he's tired of the crossbow yeah. bolts embedding in the wall. Everybody from snaps the... to attention. Ziliana's like holding Mercurian over her head. From the rounds of the interrogators. <laughs> Menacing. <laughs> <laughs> would you kindly put him down and would you stop shooting crossbow bolts into the wall of the broom closet? Fine. Sorry, Arno. Set him down. I didn't do anything but get shot at. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Come over to Macarian, start taking bolts out of him. Fine, and do a truce for now. Why, you, you know, Baron, I, I'm really I... not completely solid on what exactly your problem is with me that we can't talk out. You took my mind from me, Macarian. 
Oh, you I and your antics had pretty much ruined a lot of chances that the courts would take my <laughs> case seriously. You don't know that. You don't even know if you're associated with me in terms of that. And the lawyer's work is already pointing us towards the Bogenhafen. Regardless, right. we've already, they've probably already made reports that I've been traveling with you and you're a part of the contract. Yes, but I am not a wanted fugitive, per se. Per se? That they came for all of us. They wanted me for questioning, a questioning that I could speak out of. And you run. Of course I did. Yes. We are simply traveling faster than the word can reach Bogenhafen. So, we can assume that we are not wanted folks by the time we get here. And if we are, then we can discuss it at that point. Would that be safe to assume? Right. Yes. Seems to be the only thing we can do, Baron. I would have beat my anger for now, but so help my ancestors that if anything delays me from getting my mind back, it's on your head, Elf. Well, you've already shot me twice when you were happy. I can't bear to imagine what you're like when you're upset. Pancushions, Mercurian! Pancushions! And Baron's just gonna trot off. For I want to give a quick frame of reference. Um the menacing talent uh it reduces the skill level uh needed to be successful by one for each level so technically i'm rolling at a plus 20 basically consistently yeah it, it, it's it's yeah it's essentially just two two extra success levels on any intimidate checks you make well yeah because you, you have it twice so you have you have the anime red eye glare that we can't see your eyes so we just see the glow um all right so this is useful because i kept kept screwing up my goddamn intimidate checks all right baron uh so as you as you you depart out the room you can see that the the sun is rising on a new day as the barabelli is making its way into the city of Bogenhof a merchant town in the Empire. Uh, and you can see that you are pulling up to a fairly um, fairly well-populated dock. Uh, looks like there are tons of people around, uh, all sorts of boats that have pulled into the harbor. The Barabelli is actually you know, a bit of a large barge uh, for the river. So as as it approaches, you can see you're kind of a large boat compared to some of the smaller ones, but there are dozens, perhaps even more uh, boats that are all sort of vying for space along the river. And you see Joseph sitting behind the um, steering wheel at the, the, ba at the aft of the ship and sort of like, Waving at other ships. Oh, hello, 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 hi. Hello. I'm also DJ waving at the boats saying, with like, him. Waving and, I'm and like, saying hi, 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 Baron. And the wife to another. I am also, I'm Baron. Hello, <laughs> Baron the boat. Okay. And at this point, like the rest of you, walk out, and you can also see that the uh the river is packed with boats and these sort of sun is rising and he was sort of pulling into the harbor here well how much nicer yeah, than the map. other harbor does this place seem uh there like this is a, a high quality harbor as, as you can tell um yeah, yeah, it looks it looks pretty darn pretty darn solid. <laughs> yeah, really Baron solid. Stackwall. It's so Baron it's a solid Stackwall. color. I'm sorry, Baron Stackwall. Sure is now, a solid color. No vision. No vision. <laughs> no I was, vision. I was doing I was doing the suddenly tell Thurston who's like, hey, oh, there's gosh. no vision on the Black. scene. Why? Yeah. Uh, why would you have? Oh, this view is so beautiful. Don't so, you so agree, every time Baron? Uh, oh, absolutely! <laughs> look, look over there. You can oh. honestly see the fine details of that place right over there. Oh my oh. goodness! Have ah. you ever seen architecture like this before? Ah, well, flashbang. Yes, we have. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> we were there. Back. There it is. I can see it now. Baron stacked all of 44 you. Forty-four seconds ago. This is why I have a <laughs> complex. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. Good. 
Well, about time we travel to a little bit of luxury. It's nice to be away from the Podunk warehouse blocks. Which Arno's I'm sure going... are very nice. Yeah, Arno's yeah. going to look around at, and try to determine if Mercurian is high or not. Are we around warehouses right now? Um, there are warehouses that are just off of the docks, absolutely. Yeah, we haven't changed scenery, Mercurian. No, but this place is so much nicer! It looks exactly the same! Maybe to your human eyes, but to my... As your attentiveness, I see the difference. This place is slightly better than the last one. It's a little bit less slimy, I agree. Yes. There's not a weird film on the buildings, at least not much of one. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a credit to human cob. Listen, this is stupid. I hate small talk. Let's get into the bloody town and get shot at by that witch hunter. As, as, as you are, as you are sort of like looking around, you can see a sign, uh, above one of the sort of smaller warehouse structures that line the, the edge of the dock here. And it, it says in large, like, white painted text, uh, Hagen's Wharf. Hagen's Wharf? Hagen's mm. Wharf. I Rob. go to... I go to my good buddy. Um, I kind of ask him, what think? well, uh... Well, you're pleased to eat for the trip and everything else, but, uh, well, at the same time, I'd also like to ask, um, oh, that's weird. Oh, I can, like, do a frame thing. Sorry, I just found a new thing. And, um, it's like, thank you so much for the, for the passage and everything. I hope you weren't too much trouble, you know, saving you from the fire and everything. You, you have a tavern you recommend, or, uh, you do need additional help unloading everything. Oh, no, I'll be fine. Uh. I'll be here for a bit if if anything you, you need help with. I got to unload some of the wine, but I got to do paperwork before that. Uh, you should take time though. It's it's the shopping fest, and like as he says that, uh, the, the the boat has now kind of like pulled into into the harbor and the docks, and you hear the sounds and like shouts and merriment of people off in the distance in the city, like the kind of like telltale like ha ha laughing and shouting and all sorts of like positive uh energy vibes just blooming out from deeper inside the city uh and you sort of looks you'll uh be able to find whatever it is you're looking for here uh i'm sure there's everything during the schaffenfest well it definitely sounds like schaffenfest at bergenhofen yes uh might i ask i'm sure i'd asked earlier uh, spark my memory what exactly is this schaffen that we're festing Arno's gonna roll his eyes. It's, it's it's a well, it's a great festival, is what it is. Well, yes, but what is the reason for the season? Can I lower Reichland him an answer? Um, yeah, absolutely. Just standard. Yeah, I give him plus twenty actually. Okay. Holy shit. That's a two. Uh, a two six. Uh, yeah, so so the Schaffenfest is one of the Reichland's largest fairs. It attracts people from all over. Um, it's essentially like a, a livestock market, but a chance for the town to essentially like acquire a lot of resources like it's it's basically a big tourist trap uh but it brings in a lot of people there's a lot of things on display there's all sorts of uh different events going on the biggest biggest attraction is a live a livestock market that people can go and buy different types of livestock uh farmers and and importers and exporters and people from outside of the empire even come to this it's so large master mercurian the Schaffenfest is one of the largest farmer's markets, so to speak, that occurs in the entirety of Reichland. In such a thing, people from all across the Reich come this way. And, well, goods are usually sold at a reasonable price, but there is such a sheer volume you would be surprised the amount of things that are for sale here. And Ooh. of course the entertainers take the opportunity to make a quick bit of money as well. Only we had the money to actually indulge in some of these side attractions. Oh, if only I say counting my gold. <laughs> All two of it. I like I like that like, yeah, speaker, your character's power is money. <laughs> <laughs> my superpower is this. Yes. My uh -huh. superpower is a dwindling resource. 
Yeah. I have a question. Okay. Um, I'm scared. How much? How much? Uh, how many shillings is it for our gold again? Uh, I believe it is ten for that. I was one of them is twelve and one of them is ten. So it's brass I pennies to a silver is twelve and ten silver yeah, to yeah. gold. Ten, ten, ten to. Okay. And how much money does Mercurian? Oh no, uh, have? one gold is twenty silver. Sorry, my apologies. Okay, okay. How much money do you have, Mercurian? I've got uh, five gold and sixteen silver. Okay, cool. <laughs> and I and I know we do have some pooled party wealth. <laughs> okay, sorry. The okay, cool. I just imagine again in the top right corner of the screen the telltale text. Baron will remember this. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Baron uh, remembers he is poor. That's right. Uh, but yes, yes. So, so uh, you've kind of given the the explanation, and you can hear the, uh, the honest to to gosh like liveliness from the city. Uh, but really, you have a, like a whole bunch of different options on how how to proceed. Uh, the dangerous word sandbox comes to mind at this point because you have a lot of different things you can look into here. So, what's it going to be, friends? I want to go see the festival. I want to go to the most crowded street. I want to see all the weird street vendors. I want to eat the weirdest street food I possibly can. Uh, I'm going to dysentery. Yes, exactly. Going to uh, link arms with both Mercurian and Arno. But we have to go to the festival, right? Well, I would like to posit a different idea. Oh, I mean, I know. Uh, yes. I, I, I guess we could, but, but it's a party, come on. Yes, it is a party, and I would love for us to indulge, and I would also love for us not to be attacked and killed by Adolphus Custos. I mean, if we're in the middle of a crowded plaza, how, how easy do you think it's going to be to hit us? Well, I mean, well, I might be taller than everyone there, but at least you won't. But there's many alleys, and the point is, is I believe that it might be wise for us to operate in such a way that would bring us into swift contact to this individual. But otherwise, at least move as a group. Two, at least. will continue regardless of our attendance. We can come back to it shortly, provided nothing else stupid happens. Exactly. Aww. No. Well, all right. If you want to be killjoys about it, I guess we can go and deal with this guy first. Best afterwards. It's not ending today. Okay. Uh, and this is like having, as you're having this discussion, I assume you're like sort of stepping off the the ship and, and looking around. Uh, as this is happening, Pandora Lost Pocket uh, approaches from behind and sort of waves at you. Oh, well, I guess this is where we're going to be parting ways. Uh, I uh, can't wait to go go put on my, my shows for the Shaffin Fest. Oh, I'm so excited. I wish you the best of luck, man. You're going to be having hey. some stiff competition. Right. Hey, best of luck. Goodbye, NPC. Yes, I... We'll try and swing by and see ya. I'm sure you'll do marvelously. We'll come by and watch your show before we depart. Of course, I, I'm, I'm, looking, I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to see what I can do here. I, I'm hoping to do some knife throwing and uh, maybe uh, maybe some work on my loot. Anyways, thanks so much. It's been a pleasure traveling with you. Happy trails, friend. Bye-bye. Right, yeah, she like goes off into the, the mass crowd and you can see like uh, even at the, the very outer edges the streets of the city are just lined and packed with people that she was rather pleasant company sort of easy to lose oh, track wow. of they level up so fast mm. whatever <laughs> <laughs> now get just like like disappointingly barks at you Nugget bites you for breaking the fourth wall. <laughs> oh no, I must I ask. I die by Nugget. Yes. If you are a training witch hunter, am I not mistaken? That I am. If you were Adolphus Kufstos, what would you have done? What would I have done? Yes, assuming you were he, we would tried to burn down our boat, you were that sort of man of character, and they had driven you off, you had swam away, and you knew they were coming to this festival, what would you do? Well, the first thing I would have done is I would have beaten them too here, ideally, which is hard to do given that he had no naval vessel with which to take him down the river. 
second thing I would have done after that point, if I had arrived before them, would be to try and array the town against them and set up what I would assume to be possibly wanted posters or postings or notice boards or alerts that witches are about and, of course, identify us. How intriguing. Then perhaps it might be best to go into town incognito? Well, that will be a rather difficult thing to do, Master Mercurian, given that, well, unless you plan on shilling out for a whole bunch of new outfits for us, and I don't believe you have the ability to change our faces. Mm, no, sadly, such things are lost to my talents. Nevertheless, the best one can do to counteract this, given that I am not a witch or a heretic or any other sort of nonsense, would be to simply try to dispel the rumours. After all, I do not believe he got here before us. Now would be a good time to perhaps cement this. Yes. Perhaps we could send in some rumors of our own. Perhaps rumors that we are also seeking heretics, and Adolf's, uh, Adolphus Custos might be one of them. No, I'm not going hand. to do that. Yes, that is rather dangerous. Baron, what's your big idea? Oh, I don't have an idea. I have an observation. What is your observation? How do they recognize Arnold to be anybody? You never see his face. You're right. I was just going to look down at him. Oh no, perhaps if you were to take off your hat. <laughs> okay, let me check here. Uh, Odyssey, that is melee brawling. Oh no! Yeah, well, <laughs> <laughs> I was just suggesting it. <laughs> oh, I like the best like, Arnold action. Your knuckles, <laughs> like. <laughs> maybe another maybe hat? Uh, yeah, yeah, maybe another maybe like hat. Maybe another sun hat. Or, or put, like, a, oh, um, put a mask on you. I am not trading out this hat. Wait, wait, we're at that festival, right? Maybe that festival might have some really fun face masks for all of us to wear. They'll never recognize us then. Fucking love yeah. chat. The hat stays on. The hat stays on. <laughs> yes. It does feel almost as though beyond there in the festival, there's some sort of adventure arrayed for us by some sort of unkind god. Oh, well. Um, Regardless, how unkind, how dare you. <laughs> yeah. what um, do we need to do. Can everyone definitely... give me a plus 20 intelligence test? Mm. Mm. Yes. 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 Yeah. All right, let's go. Plus uh, 20. I get a 54. Uh, I'm going to get a, an 8. Hello. Nice. I got a 55, so it's only one degree of success. And Baron. Barely got an 83. <laughs> minus four. Yeah, okay. Um, I think rocks are a very viable part of society. They are. Uh, actually, uh, Arno, you passed because you rolled against your initiative instead of your intelligence. Oh, right. Um, I forgot. So, 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 so everyone... Everyone but Baron, like you're having this conversation and like you're talking about Arno and like how people would recognize it. And then you remember something um, that that had previously been brought up, particularly uh, you remember the uh, the document you had received uh, with regards to the the man you found on the road early on in the adventure. Sure. Uh, the yeah. one who looked exceptionally similar uh, to uh, to Arno. Yeah, and remember see, that I there remember. was something going on uh, with regards to inheritance. Uh, and I will very quickly uh, pull up the handout here. Yes, please, because I've, I've been trying to find that handout, but we don't... I think we had it... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll just... Uh, yeah. There's there's just one complication with that. What's Only that? Arnold received it and then didn't share it with anyone. Yeah, for obvious yeah, none reasons. Of us know about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah no, oh, that's true. That's true. That's true. I forgot. Yeah, yeah, he didn't. That's true. Um, so Arnold can so, recall it, but yeah. So Arno, you can recall it, but I'll have the document there so everyone can see it. Yeah, I've, I've been I've been wanting to ask about that document previously. Again, is it's just we don't have it like. 
on us, so I can't, you know, look at it. Yeah. yeah. So Didn't you take it with you? No, we do. It's it's not listed under the journal. Entry. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I, I, I I showed it, but I guess there's a different setting in Foundry for sharing and showing. So I've shared it now, but I have also uh, shown it as well, so you can see it right right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, but this is for a place in Bogenhofen, and Arnold oh. would have been interested in checking it out at his earliest convenience when the rest of them are off taking care of their thing. Absolutely. So, with that being brought back up, what is what is the plan now? Where exactly is everyone going and what are you doing? Um, well, I suppose uh, our best bet is sort of just to... Uh, what Zilliana stated, essentially, is just kind of head into the festival, see what we see. Um, I'm advising that we stay at in teams of two, if possible. Hmm. I kind of want to try and tackle this with just Arno, because, again, none of you were around, and none of you are familiar to the guys who would likely be coming this way in regards to this document, because none of you were with the original guy who got assassinated. Yeah, no, we would have no idea, but I, our Mercurian would suggest that we go in teams of two or, like, a big group, just in case this guy gets here and starts fucking with us. Yeah, sounds good. So, yeah, two, like, got any difficulties with that? Because Arno's going to try and push for him just going by himself. Yeah, in that case, I suppose we'll do Arno, and then the rest of us three will explore the uh, festival. Unless anybody else wants to split off. I mean, I feel Arno will need backup unless you really want to go alone. That is true. You can shadow him. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll just true. go with you. You'll shadow okay. Arno? Yeah. You know, I, right. you know I'm, I'm familiar with you know my, my dwarven self is familiar with the streets i, I can i know <laughs> how the really rats funny. do we got here arno wants to explore this this potential like issue with regards to being referred to as a witch baron really wants to get his mind stuff but baron's like i'm going to follow arno <laughs> I mean, there's nothing else for him to do here right now so it's basically like where, make where, sure exactly, my friend is Eve. where exactly are you going arno i'm investigating a lead had it Ooh. before we got here what lead? It is one you cannot assist with. It is Church of Sigma. Don't worry about it. It should be fairly simple. The Church of Sigma. Uh, there is a Church of Sigma nearby here? I was going to look flatly at him. Yes. In most cities in Rockland, there is a Church of Sigma. Fine. Very well. If you believe that there's something you must do at this church... Then by all means. Are you sure you don't need any help? What if he finds you by yourself? Oh, I'm you. certain we can come to an agreement on something. I mean, I, I yeah, I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll just be, you know, taking a walk around the church and see what I'm an honorary member. They like me. Well, as you wish. Hey, I... Kind of Didn't trying. you have business to take care of, though, Master Stackwall, with regards to your mine? Yes, but we can yeah, do that Yeah, you need after. to find a lawyer. Well, yes, but actually, we specifically, after. you're looking for the uh, the chief uh, magistrate, but you probably, in order to find the more about The magistrate would probably be at the church, or somewhere yep. close to it in that district, so might as well have Arnold with his thing, make sure he's fine, and then do my thing later. Then if you're going towards the magistrate, then you'd likely, you hired me to aid you with those sorts of matters. And since I was able to get us this magistrate, it might behoove me to come along with you. <laughs> I am fucking then loving the let's with... start by split the party. And now everyone's like, nah, no, we're not <laughs> splitting the party. <laughs> Arno wants to split the party? Are you kidding me? He's, he's like, y'all are like, oh, Arno won't be able to handle himself. And maybe I can't, but I want, he's trying to do this. I also appreciate Chad. Oh no, if only we had a lawyer in the party. Oh no. <laughs> or perhaps a wizard. <laughs> They're both dead. Arno is, is departing rapidly. 
That okay. that lawyer is dead in a porta potty somewhere. Like, that's, <laughs> that's fair. <laughs> she had a uh, run. Um, okay, so, so, yeah, so Arno's yeah, departing. I'll meet you back here at this tavern uh, in like three hours. And Baron will trot along. Okay. Mm. I'm going to, uh, as they leave, I'm not going to follow them. I just want to look at this. I'm going to roll some intuition. This seems sus. Okay, sure. Sus. Sus. 18 forward degrees of success. Uh, okay, okay. So, um... So these guys hiding something? Uh, Arno, I want you to give me a cool check at plus 20. Ah, uh, you see, that has been improved ever so slightly, given that my willpower has gone up recently. Ooh, pathetic. Ooh. Ever so slightly, because cool is still not a very strong skill of mine. Uh, challenging? Uh, plus 20. So, plus 20, yeah. Uh, 24 plus 4, we're even. Uh, yeah, so, so, uh, Mercurian... You like you you have the feeling that there is something sus, but you have no clue. Like there, it's just a feeling. You have nothing to corroborate it or like got anything because uh, Arno no, course, is, is yeah. unreadable. As they leave, Ziliana. Mm -hmm. I believe the humans are going to try to kill us. <laughs> Human. Human. I believe that. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> human. Human. I believe and I'm superior beginning dwarf. to suspect there's some kind of conspiracy. <laughs> I think they're going to attempt to turn us into the authorities. What? No, I don't think Arno would do that. Oh, Jeez. really? No. Well, what do you think Arno would do? I think that Arno would not first give us a very stern talking to, and then... Do? Shit. <laughs> 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 Damn it. I, just, I just love, like, the real villain of the campaign is actually just the player. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. If he tries, then we won't let him, right? Right, but okay. he's going Look off alone. Baron suspiciously follows him. I think they're conspiring. I don't think they're conspiring against us. I mean, I don't... I mean, you saw Baron on the ship. He's not really one for sneaking around. If he has a problem with you, he's just going to shoot a crossbow bolt at you yes. in the middle of the plaza. Yes, yes, but I also didn't see Arnold. He was inside of that bloody closet the entire time. <laughs> well, he told us... He told us to stop fighting, and I, for one, am very glad he came out of the closet. Well, oh, I'm gonna throw a jar at you. As the point of his <laughs> journey as I may be, I fear this journey might be to the authorities. It might behoove us to follow him, just, just to make sure. And then if it's nothing, if it's nothing, we go back to the festival, and we have a good time, and we retire this episode all the way behind us, but... <laughs> I mean, I don't think we're particularly subtle folk, Mercurian. I'm, I'm incredibly subtle. I say, you hold me a... back, my incredibly long. Okay. I want, no, 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 no. At the, at, the, at the word of I'm incredibly subtle, we're going to, like, skip the entire head <laughs> to follow Arno and Baron. All right, so... Arno, you are making your way, uh, based on the letter, uh, heading to the, the region called the the the, the Garten Weg, uh, in which you, you you manage to. I assume you just like ask some people, like, oh, which way to the Garten Weg? He would ask the guards. Uh, yeah, 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 and they they sort of point, and you 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 tell that it's um. Okay, let me let me find it here for us, because um, maps are maps are scary. And <laughs> I'd love if it was on the Western Dam. The what? I'd love if it was on the other side of the, the yeah, river, you know, the Western Dam. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, no, no, no. It's actually um, just about. I'm gonna move you. It's a bit north. It's a narrow alley that runs around this way. Sort of in mm -hmm. the eastern district, close to the metal Gursky. Uh It's good ways through the city, but you manage to. to... There. Uh, one second, but sneeze. 
Oh, okay, no. good. I didn't want to sneeze into the, the mic and make you all deaf. Okay, so uh, you, you make your way, and it's a little way north of the Metalworkers Guild. It's a small, uh, like, it's a small alley uh, with, uh, like, run-down buildings flanking it. Uh, if you can give me a... Plus, actually, no. Uh, so yeah, yeah. You're you're just you're just heading down this area, and you can see that there is, uh, like, kind of these rundown buildings and structures. Um, as you are you are making your way down, you see um, a building ahead. Uh, shutters from the window are open. The door uh, is also appears to be open, and there is a sign above the door that reads "Lock, Stock, and Borrow Lawyers, etc." I don't believe this is the place. Hey, hey, hey. You know, I like how Baron is just going along with this, like, this isn't a church. I don't think we have some couple of questions to ask him. Because Baron actually wanted to ask Arnold to go to the magistrate first instead of the church. So he's kind of like, oh, okay. Right. Master Stackwall, I encourage you to uh, keep the crossbow lowered, please. Oh, yeah, of course, of course. He <laughs> take, uh, just make sure he just unwinds the crossbow so it's not already cocked. <laughs> yeah, he's like, uh, yes, my hand bow. Uh, you should probably yeah, stow yeah. my gat. And he kind of make sure it's in his little holster. Like, hey, uh, I feel we have a couple of questions to ask him. That I do. You probably won't be familiar with the questions I'm going to ask, and if you have any questions afterwards, we can discuss it. But for the moment, and I will go up to the door and knock. I, the only questions I want to ask is, uh, have there been any bounties or any wanted things recently posted that we could take a look? Of course. We can ask that when we are allowed it. Hey. And you hear yeah. this. Come in! Sort of the younger, uh, feminine voice responds as you knock. Arno will enter the door first, put the human face forward. Okay. Uh. Oh, oh, hello there. Good, uh. Hi! Hi, Baron. Good morning. Oh, was it closer to noon? Hello, mister. Welcome to Lock, Stock, and Bar, Lawyers, etc. Uh, how can I help you? Yes, I am looking for a... Uh, I'm looking for an individual. He will retrieve the inheritance letter, and she sure. will produce it for the, I'm assuming, secretary, yes? Yeah, yeah like, what you see is a, a younger, um, younger woman, probably in her, like, late teens. She's dressed in, in common clothing uh, that has clearly, like, been recently washed and prepped for, like, a, a more formal attire, even though it's not formal wear. And she's sitting behind a desk, which is, uh, like, has a small, modest stack of paperwork on it. And then there are some bookshelves behind. The bookshelves are all empty. Uh, and she's sitting just in a chair. As you can tell, I am Mr. Castor Aloysius Libro. And like she... to this affidavit takes the, the, the inheritance document and the affidavit. Oh, Herr Baal has been looking forward to meeting you, Herr Liebrung. Um I will let him know that you have arrived. Takes the two documents and sort of like walks through the back door. He will nod and remain standing and he will motion for Baron to come on a little closer. Baron follows. Mr. Stackwell, I'm briefly going to be acting in character, so just go ahead and agree or disagree with what Ka-chunk, ka-chunk, ka-chunk. And at that point, you can hear the shutters have now been thrown across the windows here, plunging the entire room into a gloom. At the same time, you suddenly hear the sounds of bolts um, being, like, drawn. And you kind of hear, like, clicks from both of the, the doors, like the, the, the bolts are being set into place on the opposite sides of the doors. Hmm. As expected. And, like, Nugget is looking around, kind of panicked. There's, like, thin slivers of light coming in through the closed shutters, but it's almost, like, entirely dark in here now. And you just hear Nugget going... 
It's okay, no good. Be on alert. Back to back. And Baron's crossbow out, kind of like back to back to back with Nugget, like pointing everywhere. And that's when you hear this like imperious voice. Castor Liberum, otherwise known as the Magister Impedimente of the Cult of the Purple Hand. In the name of the Emperor, I arrest you and your companions for conspiring with chaos. Murder, theft, and other crimes hereinafter to be enumerated. Lay down your weapons and surrender. And you, like, recognize a, a much more enunciated voice of Adolphus Cuffsus. Ah, Master Cuffsus. Please that you're here ahead of time. You will, uh, you will do as I say and lay down your weapons. Master Cuffsis, I wish to point out you and I are coming from the same location. We are both servants of the Church of Sigma. And you hear this just awful sound coming from outside. And as, as soon as you hear that sound, as quickly as it came, it disappears and everything falls quiet. Again. I was going to wait. There's nothing he can do. He's waiting at this point. Might be a trick. Okay. Um, so uh, we cut to uh, Mercurian and Ziliana. Uh, how exactly, like, you were, you were tracking um arno and baron correct? yes that was your book yes. what skills do you have that would be appropriate for that um i've got my perception okay. i've got perception and outdoor survival uh also navigation or uh sorry intuition okay okay intuition is probably more for like you know intuiting something in a conversation um, let me see here. Okay, so none of you have, like, the actual track skill. Um, okay, so... But we do have super elf eyes. You do have super elf eyes, but it's not quite the same as tracking. That's like mm. Spotting something. Um, I will allow you to make a, um... Initiative test? At... Um, let's see, what do I want to do here? Uh, I'd say an initiative test. Yeah, let's, let's do that. Uh, at minus 10, a difficult initiative test. Okay, sure thing. Let's go! Go! Hey, that's a four degrees of success. Nice. Uh, oh, we on your trail! Success. Let go, Elf. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, so the 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 Elf uh, squad with their impressive eyesight and impressive initiative and like reflexes are able to to easily uh, trail uh, Arno and Baron as they make their way. Uh, however, they're they're still a good ways behind, and eventually they kind of come to the main street, lose them in the main street. It takes them a while, but they finally come up onto the site, and you see. The same, the same site, the lock, stock, and barrel sign that is sort of hanging above, above an open door. Um, you, as you're sort of maneuver, making your way, you're not running or anything, you're not drawing attention to yourselves, but as you, you make your way closer, you hear that sort of, like, discussion, the, the, the accusations of, you know, Castor Liberung of, of the Purple Hand, you hear all of this, and you kind of, I'm assuming, pick, pick up your pace a bit once you hear so, something that you know and hear Adolphus his voice uh and then like as you're you're making your way um closer to the to the building uh you you hear this this blood curdling awful sound and you turn the corner mere seconds after and um what you can see is a heavily mutilated body a stocky man um adolphus cuffs us in front of the uh the lock stock and barrel which is sealed uh, the corpse appears as though it has been torn apart. Uh, its chest and belly are ripped open. Oh, God. Uh, is there any blood trail? Uh, there's no blood trail, just like spatters of blood everywhere around. Oh, bloody hell. He actually is with that coat. What? 
Maybe. I don't know. This is I, terrible. I didn't think they did this. So inside the building, Arno and Baron, you <laughs> suddenly hear the two elves begin to talk loudly. For, for Sigma's sake, why can they not simply leave us be? Well, I'm, I think they like us. I am uh, going to quickly go to Kusto's body. Is there any blood trail, anything like that? You just asked that. Yeah, oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, yeah. There, there's, oh, there's I'm sorry. Yeah. All right. I'm going to, uh, in any obvious entrances or anything like that? No, there's just the, 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 the door that you can tell. It's strange as you look at it because the door into Lock, Stock, and Barrel has a bolt on the outside. Oh. Let me see. This is quite... <laughs> Ziliana, I'm going to ask you to do something that might not be the wisest. I need All you to right. run and get the guard. Get the guard? Yes, right. you're, you're swift. Hold on, Makarian, are you sure about that? If there's all this funny business afoot, they might think that it was us. They're going the, to think so. Are the two of you inside the building saying anything as this conversation is happening? Master Starkwall, well, I'm going to pursue the individual who just left us in here. Help me with this door. And Arno was going to attempt to I, kick the other door open. It, oh, it okay. was like, it was like, sma like smash and grab out for the goal. And then Baron's going to help him by headbutting it with his helmet <laughs> as hard yeah. as he I'm can. Trying to, I'm trying to pursue the secretary. Okay. Uh, oh, oh, th through the back door. Yes, I am not trying to leave. I am trying to pursue someone because whatever happened outside is not my business at this moment. I got some funny, I got some questions for the funny individuals who proceeded to lock the entire building up. Okay. Um, yeah, so you can give me a melee uh, brawling or a melee skill, like, using an appropriate weapon if you want to just, like, break the door down. But it's clearly, like, been locked for me. Well, luckily for you, my melee brawling is higher than my melee basic. Hell yeah, do it up. Has just no challenge, nothing? Uh, yeah, just no challenge. Okay. Ah, just out of range. Okay. Uh, so you 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 hear this like bang, uh, on the door, and like the the elves outside would hear like a banging on on wood from inside the structure. All right. Wait. Hold on. Uh, I'm going. What about my headbutt? Uh, are are you going to to attempt to to yeah. rush the door as well, there? Yeah. yeah, yeah those wait, wouldn't that give me a bonus mm -hmm. for trying to bust through the door? Uh, I, that depends, Baron. Are you doing it on your own, or is it like? Yeah, in I was tandem? helping him. Okay, yeah. That's uh, the whole so you, thing. You... I was kind of confused. I just got forgotten. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, you you rush forward and, and give it like a, a thump along, and you can hear the cracking of wood with success. It's not entirely broken yet, but you can tell you've like started to push it. Uh, but basically, you've damaged the, the, the lock on it. And he will go for another one when you let him. Yeah, I... you, you can do it now. Yeah. Okay, Arna was going to wind up another step. I will help. Do we, do we get to do anything? Well, there's no. Said, we get two. Let's, they're gonna let's... they're gonna get two hits on the door. Oh, okay, okay, fair. Yep. Winding this up. This is our kick. door, boss, he not your door, four. boss. <laughs> it's her own door. Yeah, uh, and then there is like a like a smash as Arno like rushes through the door, and Baron actually doesn't even hit the door this time. He just kind of comes running through the now cracked open door in the back alley. Yeah. Um, I'm using the momentum to keep chasing, and hopefully, I see somebody. Uh, yeah, so like, you come out just in time to see the the clerk who is like at the the end of the alley, turning and kind of like like raising her hand to her mouth in shock. Baron is hauling ass, but of course, like I'm thinking this way we can switch to them because like at that yeah, point yeah, it's yeah. like whoosh. yeah, yeah, yeah. You're yeah our athletic. Okay, so the bad. elves, you you hear the the first bang and then a second follow up bang that clearly sounds like a door has been broken open in the back of this building. That sounds like Arno. Right, perhaps we should pursue them. Uh, probably. It seems like things are about to get very bad. Yes, alternatively, we could try to find the one who did this, but we need to act quickly. Our speed advantage won't carry us forever. Um, yes. I'm going to um, unlatch the fucking uh, door to this area. Yeah. And uh, 
opening it up real quick, do I see them sort of starting to file out? Yeah, you would see both of them basically at the like uh, the opposite end, sort of in the like just breaking out the back door into an alley. Adolphus has been killed. Did either of you do that? No. Uh, b -b -b <laughs> and yeah, you're brushing off. Uh, like, and, and for record, like this, 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 this uh, clerk, she's not like running or anything. Her hands are up as you come rushing towards her. Uh, like she, she looks in, in sort of complete shock here. Uh, so if we don't have to make an athletics to chase her two weeks. No, 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 no. My, she's my not running. Baron's athletics are pretty bad. Yeah, she's oh, not she's running. She's still. just kind of. She's standing there more in shock. Uh, Arno is going to try and catch up to her first real quick, and I would like to do uh, an intimidate real quick. Absolutely. So just like run up and intimidate? Absolutely. Yes, I, I charge forward and I roll an intimidate. Yeah. Do I get a bonus to my intimidate? Because I'm uh, I'll give you a plus 20 because, dear lord, like you've, you've broken out, you've rushed down an alley. Yeah, absolutely. Hang on a second. I'm looking. Uh, this has been weird. You can do it. I believe. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Okay. All right. Throwing. Uh, 39 with impressive success. Yeah. So yeah. Plus plus four success levels because if you're menacing, like she like raises her hands. Oh, uh, it like says, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was. Uh, I did exactly what I was told and what I was paid for. I'm so sorry. Did I do something wrong? I'm so sorry. So, based based on that, I'm going to assume that she, Arno would would have heard the two elves screaming about someone being dead, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Hmm. All right. So, he's going to approach and quickly look backwards towards Baron, who is trundling forward. Yeah, like Baron like reaches like at the exact same time. Hey, where are the rest of the? Uh... Lawyers. Uh, the, 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 there are no lawyers. Lockstock and Parle doesn't actually exist. I, I was, I was told to, to just wait for, for, for you. The, the, the Herr Liberum. It's a ruse. Oh, for bloody hell! Wouldn't be the time to have a damn lawyer on our side. Uh, Arno's going to look at the inheritance if he has it at the moment. Unless, uh, unless it was not given back to him. Yeah, no, 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 no. Like you, you, like you can check the documents for sure. Arno's going to pick up the inheritance and just check it over. Yeah. Donation. Uh, I'm sorry. I I was told to to wait for you. That 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 it was some kind of uh, some 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 kind of bounty hunting operation. They they needed a law student, so they asked me. Ah. Uh. Bloody hell. Now, for your, for your information, I am not Herr Lieberung. I am another agent of the Church of Sigma. I was actually investigating this sort of individual, given I had heard so much. No, Apparently, him and you I looked exactly like the picture. Yes, I know. It's very annoying. That gentleman who put you up to this was hunting a similar man who. I suppose in this instance, positively, was murdered out in the forest by mutants. Oh. Very strange. I, I don't know anything about that. No, I just you got may... hired. Yes, 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 I know. You innocent person in the in the crossfire. I get it. The point is, the gentleman who put you up to this, did he give you any information about who this Lieberung individual was? Just that he was associated with, with dark powers. Did he give you specifics? Uh, no, just just that, that I would be doing Stigma's work to, to help him. And he would pay. He paid up front. He was in a very big hurry. He only arrived a day ago. Hey, but how the hell did he beat us? Uh, well, you have been doing Stigma's work. Don't you fret about that, but... Ah, uh, bloody hell. I was going to think as Baron is presumably approaching. <laughs> Oh no, yeah, Bear's yeah. been there the entire time, just gonna die. Yeah! What? <laughs> Bear's just <laughs> back and forth because right. he has no yeah. context. And he's like, yeah, 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 screw you, lady. Oh, what? Inheritance? Look, listen. 
We don't have time for all this right now. You need to come with us. Oh, all right. And she sort of, like, nods. Unfortunately, based on the sounds and what my two compatriots have noticed, the bounty hunter lies dead outside. Oh. This way. Arnold's going to go to regroup with the elves. Um, yeah. Um, at this point, I assume the elves have sort of, like, peeked out into the alley and then they see you coming. Mm. Well, I have what? a request. Uh, before we get to the elves, I'm sorry. Uh, so as Arnold is going out, I assume like we're kind of opening the front door and all the other stuff. Well, you're heading to out. the back door because you're in the back alley. Okay, sort okay. Of thing, and then you're heading okay. Back. So, so are, are we at this point like entering inside? Correct. Uh, through the back door, that's where you would be entering it. Yeah. yeah. Are, are any of the other doors seem to be like openable? Uh, no. There's just the back door and the front door. Both of them are open right now. No, no. Like in the building. Yeah, no, that's it. There is a front door and a back okay. door. Like this is a this was a sham of a law office. No, no, I, uh, I know. I'm just saying. What, what's the interior? Is it just like a square? Is it? Yeah, just... it's just a square. Okay. It's just a square okay. with a front door, a back door, and then there's a desk with with two um, like two empty bookshelves on it. Okay, never mind then. Uh, but as you come back, you would see that the elves are are, are there at the back as well. Okay. All right, elf time. Well, all of you kind of yes. come back, so you, you will come back with this this woman. Uh, yes, okay. what we're going to wind up doing is, I think, uh, honestly, after what we had seen with Baron, um, we'd kind of come in, we'd found this corpse, we're going to probably be um, moving on uh, as soon as we kind of get confirmation that they didn't do it. I, I feel like we're probably going to want to chase after who actually did do it. Maybe try to track them down while the kill is still fresh. We don't have any means of tracking them, do we? Yeah, well, we didn't see any footprints or anything. So yeah. we can assume it either, like, somebody took him out from a distance or, like, somebody, I don't know, he had, like, a, like a chest uh, booster yes. or something. Yes, or it was a magic. ranged explosion device. <laughs> of course, yes, that fable Wait, thing. This might be out a bit better gaming, but I don't know if you want to look at the Winds of Magic thing. Yeah, no, I, I would assume that would be part of a perception ch yeah. check. We, we I imagine, like, we're here at the city. It's the middle of this very, very busy festival. I can only assume that, like, the areas that have a lot of people might have seen a guy running away. And the areas that don't have a lot of people are somewhat possible to split up and with our superior speed, hopefully track them down. Also, um, what time is it supposed to be? Because the clock says 11.50 p.m. Uh, sorry, ignore that clock. It, it's supposed to be um, like early morning at this point. Like you've okay, just yeah, I was about to be like, damn, we show up at this lawyer's office at eleven fifty p.m. <laughs> Who are those people? Indeed, hey, yeah. Before closing, still open because you're that <laughs> asshole. <laughs> I'm going to uh, a roll a um uh, a perception, I guess, just to see if maybe there's any magic or or any any trace of any kind of movement or whatever uh sure give me yeah. uh give me a perception check totally yeah uh, an 18 with five degrees of success nice uh, okay. what Oh. Uh, what? Oh. Uh, yeah. oh, did I did I mm -hmm. bring up a thing? Oh, I did bring up a thing, didn't I? Uh oh. Corrupting influence. You wanna you wanna click that resist button for me, SP here? I would be a big fan of doing that. Yeah, sweet, thank you. Mash E to resist. Uh we're gonna re-roll that with my fortune. <laughs> okay. Mercurian does not need to be any more corrupt. I'm already corrupt as is. Uh, feel free to <laughs> reroll. It's a noble corruption, though. Yeah. There we go. Three of success. You don't see anything, but for the briefest moment, you feel something like like a a, a chill breeze down this alley. 
and like everything seems to get darker and like everything takes this almost stretched appearance and you can hear like the cawing of birds in the distance and then kind of like you have this moment and then you shake your head and you you snap back um but otherwise you the only thing you see here is it so and like as you sort of look back down at it you don't see any any sort of um like tracks or idea where someone could have come or gone and you realize from where you were like it would have been a good sprint for um but what you also notice is um the heart of Adolphus Custos is torn in two, and the body itself is in a pool of blood and looping intestines, and its empty eyes, like, stare up in horror at something that is no longer there. I see. Um, so no idea of any direction or the wind, because with my second sight, I don't see any winds of magic. No, 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 no. Uh, you, like, the, the best you can get is that 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 dark breeze some kind of like dar influence perhaps but you're not entirely sure i see yes i suppose with that i would um probably try to collect everyone and yeah, yeah. Uh, Ziliana, what are you doing during all that? um during all of this i think i'm just keeping an eye down the alley trying to see if i can spot literally anyone or anything um but that perception has probably been done to death, so I'm just kind of got my sword out. I'm, I'm, I'm being prepared, essentially. Yeah, since you're sort of like being prepared, looking about. Um, one thing you do notice is uh, on the body, uh, you notice a letter that is sticking out of the dead bounty hunter's boot. Just gonna look around, and I'm just gonna reach down and pluck it out. Absolutely. Um, seems to be kind of like fairly well maintained and, and um, properly sealed. I'm going to share this with all of you. Um, the letter. If, if someone wants to read this letter. No. Wow. No. Fine. Yeah. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Got... We'll all silently read it then. I got it. Our... Our Me. voice people can get screwed. <laughs> first it's mostly, I don't know if you have the not stupid font version. Uh, oh, yeah, no, no, it's a text version. I'm in the top it. in the top right, uh, you should have the zone. In the top right, there should be a little text, text pad that is. if you click it, it brings up All the text. All right, let's see. Let's see. <laughs> uh, the, for the personal attention of her Adolphus Kafos, the nine stars coach again, uh, to the Mennonheim Rome, Altdorf. My dear her Kofsos. Actually, who, actually, who, instead of me reading it, who went up to it and got the letter? Zill, yeah, that's good. Oh, I got it. Okay, Zill, you go ahead. You go ahead. You read it. Oh, sure, sure. It. Just yeah. start reading it aloud. Just, my dear. Zilly can Kofsos. read, right? Is that, yeah, Zilly's an elf. She can read. <laughs> <laughs> Despite, yeah. Uh, my dear Air Kofsos, you may recall a certain conversation we had last browsite in the public bar of the Hook and Hatchet in Nome. At that time, you mentioned your interest in the activities of a certain society whose name I shall not mention here. Must be that purple hand? It's purple, right? Yes, they did seem to be a purple hand. Purple. In particular, you were very anxious to trace the whereabouts of a certain officer known only as the Magister Impedimente. I'm now able to confirm each and every one of your suspicions. After your departure, I made some discreet inquiries and managed to ascertain that the person you seek uses the name Castor Liberung. In accordance with your plan, Air Liberung will be traveling toward Altdorf on the Middenheim Road at some time toward the end of the month of Yardrung. I also, I, I have also had the good fortune to secure a likeness of Air Liberung, which I enclose within this letter. I remain, sir, your most obedient servant, QF. Well, he didn't have the decency to sign it. And there's like this picture that is just like just just Arno's like hat covered face. Ah, uh, well, this is clearly the guy that was on the road. Arno's supposed alleged, not twin. Look alike is the word you're looking for. Look alike. Huh. Well, whoever this QF person is, 
I was going to reference the, uh, excuse me, I'm going to look at the affidavit real quick. Mm -hmm. Okay, because I can't read the writing necessarily. Is there any? Uh, so again, in the top right corner, there's a little text thing that if you click on it, it's a little like piece of paper with a fold in the corner. It'll give you the text version of it. So it's just flat text and not All the right. weird font. So no QF here. We do have an Ingrid Zickerman, a Oscar Helmut, and Julius Schwungrad. Yes, no QF in the inheritance leather either. Hmm. Interesting. Well, whoever this QF is, do you think they had any hand in what happened to Mr. Kufstos? It's totally doubtful unless, they're in, unless their plan is to individually and extremely inefficiently weed out members of the Church of Sigma from the entirety of the Reich. Hmm. Perhaps they were attempting to protect you? Well, that would definitely be an interesting turn of events. But something probably we should not discuss within earshot of anyone who could be listening. Right. Yeah. It, Mercurian, you had that weird look about you. Is everything all right? Yes, whatever was by here was something rather grim. If we are indeed dealing with the dark gods, well, I say that's plenty of evidence. There's a cold breeze and a sense of dark magic in the air. I don't know what killed this man, and I couldn't find him. I couldn't find any evidence of any murderer outside a very particular presence and a very cold breeze. Finger Baron burned doesn't believe sword. him. Baron just sniffs. He's like, no, that's the sewer lane. <laughs> and yeah, you can see there's, like, uh, there's a manhole nearby that's just wafting fumes. We should perhaps discuss this in a more private locale. Well, if they're still nearby, I don't want to leave. Why don't we check down the alley first? I don't honestly think that we're going to be able to find them. Yeah, it's at least worth a shot. I'll take point. Oh, for goodness sake. Yeah, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna right. explore just down the alley. Anna goes real fast. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> I want to. I want to. Where she goes down, looks down the corner, and I, I didn't find anything. And then a giant, like, evil tentacle monster just. Oh, she found it. She found it. Fate score by one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> She'll be um, fine. Yeah. 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 You, uh, you turn turn down the alley to, to see. Um, sort of the, the, the tail edge of, of the Schaffenfest, um, where everything is kind of like super populous and there's like masses of people shouting. Uh, so it looks like this was kind of just a an alleyway that didn't wasn't part of the festival and has, has barely been used or doesn't see a lot of foot traffic. But as soon as you, you reach the end and turn the corner, you can see the sort of pickup of, of the citizens. Again, the bustling loud voices and like heavily trodden streets here. Oh. Well, it looks like it just leads to the festival. You think they're hiding in the crowd? Almost certainly, if they can. Hmm. It's possible we might be able to pick them out if we look for the scent of Da. But beyond that, I believe we need to deal with Adolphus's body. We need to make sure this isn't pinned on us. Perhaps alerting the guard. And by the way, Arno, this is a rather peculiar church. Well, if you'll pardon me, Master McTiernan, I didn't exactly expect you to be nosy. Of course I'm being nosy. Our dwarf has been trying to kill me with a crossbow for the past seven days, and all of a sudden he slinks off with you on some sort of secret activity. I was concerned for your safety, and uh, honestly, a little bit suspicious. Bloody elves always got to make it out to be some kind of plot against me. Look, we have someone here, and we need to talk with her. So, if you don't mind, it, damn it, I was gonna turn to the law student. You there? Yes. You got a name? Um, Ostara, Ostara Fass. Miss Fass, is there a an inn or a tavern somewhere that's more secluded um, nearby? Um, certainly. Um. She pauses and thinks. Um, what's what's your price range? 
Arn's gonna put his head in his hands and remember that everything has to be fucking paid for in this goddamn horrible universe. Just give <laughs> us a decent tavern! Doesn't even we just decent. need one room. We need a room. A private room. By the way, you're gonna be coming with us for a little bit because unfortunately, your association with this seems to have put you at risk as well. What? Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. All right, all right, uh, the journey's end. Um, it's, 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 a, it's a lovely little place we could we could go. Very well, lead the way. Oh, uh, well, just guide me, I'll lead the way. All right, um, certainly. Uh, we have to go through a bit of the festival, though. That's fine, just stick close. Here, uh, I'm going to put her up on my horse. <laughs> <laughs> you brought your horse? Yes, of course I did. Oh, absolutely. Uh, we, uh, we, didn't to, uh, we, we didn't stop to stable it or anything, so I assumed it was just with us. <laughs> Good horsey. Good, Good horse. horsey. Pat, Pat. Right. Yep. So, out of curiosity, there's nothing else on Adolphus's body. No. Does he have his equipment? Ah, uh, yes, he does. What equipment does he have, Thurston? Good, very good. We're gonna loot the body, man. Of course you are. Arno needs to take the equipment of his fellow witch hunter, and he needs to put it to good use. Yeah, yeah Baron's wait, looking wait, for wait, the wait, coin wait. purse. Wait, why is it when I ask, does he have anything else on his body? It's no. But when Arno asks, does he have his equipment? It's yes. He asked in the right way. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna kill you. Come How much toys. money does Terrible. he have that I can have? Oh my god. Arno will actually smack you with his club if you try to loot the pockets of a member of the Church of Sigmar. I mean, okay, I'm just okay. making sure what he needs to do to donate to the church when we get there. Arno is going to beat you. <laughs> Baron dies. How many you know. wounds do I take? <laughs> I, I, he I has think... uh, 12 bolts, a crossbow, a sword, 10 yards of rope, a set of uh -huh. manacles. Uh -huh. uh, he has a male coat, a male coif, and male chasseurs. Uh, ah, shit. Uh -huh. I was going uh -huh. to... Uh, he's going to take the... Fuck it, he'll take whatever he can use for this in for this instance. He's going to take Burns. the crossbow and the bolt. <laughs> okay, I'll, 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 I'll drag these over to you. What is what is Baron the fucking troll? Well, Baron today? wanted the bolts, because he uses <laughs> bolts. Are they the same size bolts for his hand bow? Yes. Yes. I'll tell you what, you can hold the boats the bolts for now, but when I start to get ballistic skill later, we're gonna share. That's fine, that's fine. Do you want to, like, do you want to have it so Arno at least has some bolts? Like, do you want to take... Yeah, I don't that's have fine. Thurston, I don't, I don't have range. I don't have bolts. Yeah, he, he doesn't have anything to really... <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, okay so okay, so okay. 11 of that. Okay. Right, I'm, I'm, not, as... I'm not a witch hunter yet. I, I have, like, a flat 32 because it's my ballistic skill. I, this is how what you... I want to do. Oh, you've I'm already sorry. upping the bolts. Good, good, good. Okay, cool, I, cool. I got the bolts. I, as Arnold's going for his stuff, and I assume, Arnold, you're... Your character is uh, considering wearing it and like equipping all this. Arno is going to put it in his pack for the moment rather than equip it all because that's very disrespectful and he's trying to have some decorum. And um, as he does it, like, oh, that's really good. And good. I'm sure that armor would be very helpful when it gets donated right back to the church. Just like this money. How much is <laughs> inside the pouch? Um, he does not appear to have any cash. On. Wow, this poor b b bitch! All right, fuck it. Wow, bitch! Wow, sir. In this adventure, uh, the good guys are the chaos cult. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> uh, look, it, yeah. look, chaos doesn't sure. need shillings. <laughs> Uh, I you, need shillings. Who wants shillings? The sword? No, no. The economy of, of this <laughs> universe revolves in a way that destroys chaos with firepower and employment. Person, I need is, this. Oh, is his sword of equivalent quality to mine? It's 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 a hand weapon. Like it just counts as a sword. I'm going to keep it because at Witch Hunter I gain dual wielding. Very good. That's awesome. Uh, 
Um, okay, uh, and then the male equipment, the male coat, the male coif, and the male chasseels. I, I have male coat, so someone else should get that. I should probably take it, because I have no armor. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, yeah, so let me add that to you, Mercurian. You know, just, I you have know, a male just... shirt, excuse me. Yeah, I gave you one. Um, I like to imagine Mercurian, your, when you get the shirt, you just kind of like do that little flick. Like you would get dust off or something. You're trying to get the blood off. Oh, of course, yeah. Uh, however, getting all three of those will encumber you. Um, Yeah, I probably won't have the male coif. I'll take the coif right. and the boots, but I will be uh, leaving Mercurian. The coif. Okay, so Mercurian will just take the coat then. Yeah, yeah. And I'll wear my clothes over it. Or... Okay. What a mess. Oh, wait. Uh, that'll encumber you, uh, Arno. Uh, that's fine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, I will. I will give away my dagger to someone. Does uh, Zilly have any armor? Uh, I am pretty armored up. Zilly has uh, a tank. I'm. I'm she has a male shirt and. Yeah, leather. I've got. I've got a male shirt and leather jacket and all of that still. Okay. Nice. Um, I might want to give a cloth. Yeah. Oh yeah. Also, wait. No, I'm not encumbered if I wear it. I guess. So I guess I'll just wear the equipment. Say, does that work right? No, it's just based on what you're holding, like what you've got overall. So you could, I think you're encumbered by one. So if you did give the quaff to Ziliana, that couldn't I also give the dagger to someone else? Uh, the dagger doesn't have encumbrance, it's zero. Damn you it. need to give something like the crossbow that's two or the sword that's one. Baron, hold my crossbow. No, oh, give me that. Okay, yeah, I'll hold the crossbow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. All I right. guess. I am uh, deleting. I'll just dual wield crossbows. I bet. Uh, meanwhile, meanwhile, that first rendition of Baron that like had an encumbrance of like fifteen, looking mm -hmm. pretty good right now. Yeah, true. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I could have still, still been minor. Patsy. You yeah. could have been a contender. Well, if, if the question is, is how is the change shirt intact if his heart was ripped in half? Um. I mean, clearly the shirt was ripped off. Also, I want to give... I gotta give them treasure, guys. You gotta understand. They need treasure. Otherwise... <laughs> Arno is trying to become a witch hunter, and for that, he needs to look the part, have the equipment of a witch hunter, which in this case is part of it. So, awesome. you know, fine. Also, it gives Baron the opportunity to have a big gun as well as a small gun. Like, let us All have right. a fucking win, man. No. <laughs> no. Chats with me. No treasure. Only suffering. Very good. No. Alright, let's I want uh, shiny on the way things. to the, the journey's end, let's take our break here. Good. Okay. Right. So during, during break time, I'll still have microphone stuff on and everything, so feel free to talk with chat. As I say, thank you to people who have scribbled and all that, so we will be right back. So for podcast people, we'll I'm see you go. in like a moment. Yay. Yay! I'm gonna go for a quick walk. Here we go. As we come back now to the journey's end, where you enter and have the, the accompanying legal assistant, Astara Fass, with you. You come into the journey's end, which is packed. And I, I, I should clarify as you are going through the Schaffen Fest, uh, you, are, you are finding that the, like the, the city is just bustling at this point. Uh, it is difficult to move around. Uh, you are like seeing people at all street corners. There are pavilions set up. There are uh, little stalls and you are you are just walking your way through, through the city. Eventually they making your way to capped image, by the way. Oh, right? Right? It's so good. <laughs> so good. Um, it's a great image. And you, you you make your way uh, to the uh, the journey's end, which is like suitably crowded, but you manage to get to yourselves a, a chair or I'm sorry, a table after a few minutes of waiting. Uh, I do find it funny in this image that um, mm -hmm. for podcast people, it's, we have like this splash over like a like a really big like a little festival area in the city. There's a bunch of people, etc. And it literally has an inquisitorial type character, a, a dwarf which is a troll slayer, and an elf who's looking pissed off at a pig. But then there's like no other out. So I like to I like to think this is us of the future, <laughs> where I'm a yes. slayer. Arnold's finally uh, a witch hunter, 
and Macarian's finally he's like some super noble with with scrolls on his side full of deals or whatever. And then Zeliana's and so Yana fucking left dead. All this bullshit. <laughs> no, she's just so, dead. Zeliana so was cursed and transformed into a pig. Exactly. No. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, the dog's on there too, and so this kind of nugget. Damn it. Who's a, who's a different <laughs> dog? Because apparently the previous dog, something happened. <laughs> no. This is oh, the no. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Baron took the Slayer Oath after Nugget was eaten by rats. Very good chat. Very good. No. Um, I don't know, chat. There's only one way you can keep Nugget alive, and I think you know what that means. That's Damn. right. I'm threatening. Oh, you got to watch a different show. Show. You got to watch Damn. Damn. I, I am threatening a not real dog that's a JPEG on my screen. I'm threatening a JPEG. That is Damn my that name. image. <laughs> <laughs> all, all right. Um, so, yeah, you're at the journey then. You've got yourself a table. Um, the, the, like, the legal assistant of Star sitting there with you kind of has this, like, forced smile on her face. I'm in trouble now. Oh no! I, I just needed some extra shillings. I, I didn't think this would be a thing. Listen, listen. We have a use for a law student, whether you know it or not. You're not in trouble, but as with everything, even common folk find themselves in the line of fire sometimes. Happen to be very good at keeping people alive, though, so don't worry too hard. Are we? I mean, yes, we are. I was going to club her. <laughs> And, she dies. Uh, and that's why there's a pig. Exactly, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Um, oh, that's why there's a pig. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, what, yeah I'm what, insulted. What, 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 what is it you need from me? I'm, I'm only a, the, the, I'm only a, the, a law student. Yes, well, we have need of a law student. See, we came here on different circumstances initially before getting wrapped up in all this nonsense. Oh. Are, are you here to, to, to well, all the judges here are booked up solid for months yes well I mean unless and then she pauses no no well, unless you were planning on seeing the, the festival magistrate that would be the plan given that our current situation we came from Ockdorf you see we were much the same difficulty there as we were here that's why we're here in the shop and first to begin with Oh, no. Well, I... I don't oh, know. And, like, she, she's pausing. And, the, the Festival Magistrate is a... is a character. Well, we've seen plenty of those in our time. She leans in. You don't understand. Heinz Richter is... is... is, is a very interesting man. He's no fool. Can't be bluffed or bamboozled. You know, luckily I don't intend to do either of those. I'm just saying that he is a if you are if you are dealing with legal matters, he is a powerful opponent in the realm of legal matters. Do you not trust your own ability? Arno will say inquisitively towards her. Say he is a a powerful man, and I would not want to confront him without uh, being entirely in the right. Well, luckily for you, and Arnold will will do something very uncharacteristic of him based on what anyone seems so far and, like, put a hand on her head and muss up her hair. We happen to be right. So. Good. You don't mind. we got to get through this. That's attack wall. What are you doing? What, 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 what do you need? What do you need? He, he puts a uh, apple behind his back. <laughs> you better not be eating a fucking apple again, Baron. <laughs> Why? You're jealous? I eat fruit and not ye? <laughs> we told you about finding things lying around on the ground. Are you a pig, Master Stackwall? <laughs> no, it's the only way I know how to survive. Baron, that was wax! It was decorative! Well, <laughs> oh, it tastes good anyway. Takes another bite. <laughs> just stand for a You just, you just hear <laughs> the entire time just smacking. <laughs> it's like gum. 
We are going to make a lot of money if we put out a live insurance policy on he that wall. He spits on the ground and it makes a candle. <laughs> candle. Well then, if I may ask a small question before we get too kind and comfortable with our new compare, just a quick moment. Come here, you you talk with her. I need to deal with Mr. Stackwall. Very well. You, yes. you can't have another one, Master Stackwall. Why not? This one looks like a weird object in yellow and long. It's waxed. <laughs> you just see it like taking, like trying to take food from a taller, trying to put it in his he's mouth. Got, he's like, got like a bag of waxed fruit that he's procured. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like the texture. Get away. Mercury, go ahead. I just look at this lost it. Dwarves are a magical people, aren't they? Uh-huh. <laughs> you look nervous. I, I, I'm very nervous. There was a man who hired me to do something simple, and then his chest was exploded, and... and yes, now I'm that here. must be very hard for you. I sympathize, and I shine my, like, you know... My, my spiky gold tooth shines. So, I just had a quick question to ask you, and I very much appreciate a straight answer, and I hope you don't take this the wrong way. I know you've been through a lot. <laughs> yes. Yes? Have you been telling us the whole truth? And I'm going to just kind of outwardly say that. Look at her reaction, kind of think about how she's been acting this entire time. I'm gonna roll an intuition. So okay. she's been putting on a pretty good show of being scared and whatnot, but we're literally dealing with an organization of potential shape-shifting chaos wizards. Um, <laughs> I am not immediately and thoughtlessly like, like, like we couldn't find the killer after we went looking. It's entire, like, she was unaccounted for during the moment where the crime actually happened. It's possible that she knows more than she's letting on. And I want to do an intuition check and I want to get any sense of, like, are we being, are we being, you know, are, like, are we being um, betrayed? Is she putting on an act? What is, what's really? <laughs> I, I, I want to interrupt sure. just for a sec and say, uh, chat member, how very vect of you, Mercurian. <laughs> by the muses, many murders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, roll your intuition check. I'd love nothing more. All right, let's roll. With a um, thirty-nine, that is three degrees of success. Yeah, um, she's definitely not. Uh, She's definitely not hiding anything at this point. Like, she seems, like, exasperated, scared for her future, uh, and kind of just entirely out of her depth. I see. Yes, yes, of course. And so there's no hint that there might be something else going on with this person. Uh, no, she, like, very clearly was hired to essentially, like, greet someone, close the door, and walk away, and then had the misfortune of not walking away fast enough. Absolutely fair. I'm willing to believe that is probably the case. I'm just going to do one last glance over of her uh, with my second sight, uh, okay. because we still do not have a source for that um, evil juju magic. And I would like to know what chaos... If, if if this person did do any magic, presumably it should be relatively easy to see any strands or any taint or anything like that with my magic elf eyes. Um, so I'm going to roll perception. Is that okay? Uh, so, well, you're just going to use your, your second sight. Yes. This is the option. So, um, I think, I think you just get the sight. Which let's see, your second sight allows you to perceive them. Um, uh, actually, that will apply to your intuition as well, so you don't have to make a perception check. It applies to intuition, perception, and track. Oh, um, excellent! Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you don't have to make a test. Um, no, you you don't see any kind of magical effects going. Okay, splendid. Um, yeah, so having given her the uh, once over, um, I'm willing to leave her story. Uh, very well then, it seems as though you might have actually just been in the wrong place at the wrong time. 
thank uh, you yes. for your cooperation. Mm -hmm. And and essentially that conversation was just, are you sure you didn't have anything to do with it? Mercurian staring at her scarily for a very long time. And then, oh, well, it seems like you're totally on the level. Very good. Uh, okay. And Baron, you said you walked away, right? Uh, like, I did, assume, did you leave assume the me table? and Arnold... I, I didn't know it was out of Um, I assume we're, like, meeting back up with the elves or whatever. Well, you I walked away as a comedic like, you... segue, but sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. sorry, sorry. I was trying to, to, to clarify, because you're, like, in the inn, you're at the table, uh, and Baron had been eating some food, uh, and then, yeah. like, were you all still there with that conversation that happened, or did you all get up and leave to allow... We did not to... abandon the conversation, but we're not that far away. We didn't, like, run to the other side of the... Like, okay, this, okay. This okay. Town. Cool. So you just kind of got up for a stretch in the inn, sort of. Yeah. Just a, just a quick maneuver around. Okay. We're still in the area. Also, I'm keeping myself muted because some clown outside is mowing around with their giant as fart mower. Uh, fart mower. Fart mower. Alright, um, perfecto. Okay, so after that, uh, what is it you folks want to do? Like, I, I assume Baron and uh, Arno kind of come back to the table. Uh, like, like Mercurian has done the sort of intuitive checking on this, uh, this NPC, Astara. Uh, what is your next step here? I'm kind of like, kind of run out of leads at least in terms of whatever happened to uh, to your your dear friend Mr. Adolphus Cuffsus, but what are you up to now? I would suggest to the party that if we have nothing to pursue in regards to this uh, mysterious man who is causing trouble and can be considered, well, he's not causing trouble because he's very much dead uh, in the forest, but I figure if we can just like maybe push the other plot thread forward, namely Baron's mine. Yeah, I was going to recommend we start looking around for a lawyer's office that actually exists. We have a lawyer. No, she, she's a law student. Yeah, that's the best we can afford. <laughs> I I don't have to. I, I don't think that we need to necessarily rely on an untested junior for a property dispute. We I'm do have the possibility. Yes, speaker. I'm begging you, please, because if we end up needing a lawyer in the future, if one of us gets like arrested or in trouble, I don't want to buy another one. Take her. It's like we have a chance. Oh, wait, we don't way. own her. It's an NPC. <laughs> we don't <laughs> own her. You know, you know, I don't advocate kidnapping people and adding them to the party. I'm saying we hire her on as a retainer because I'm going to be completely honest with you. Hiring an actual lawyer will probably bankrupt us. Except for Mercurian, uh, who's like, I will control the law with his, with his <laughs> class ability. I don't well, want uh, them to control the law. <laughs> True. Well, uh, what's wrong with the elf deciding who lives and who dies? Oh, I, I, uh, oh my god. <laughs> Baron, uh, I can, is there something I could roll to figure out how much a lawyer would be? <laughs> yes, you can give me an intelligence check. Oh, I don't know. Uh, okay. I'm glad you gave me a mercy roll. Let's see if anything happens with it. And that's not going to happen. It's 75 out of 45. Lawyers do lawyers paper. Lawyers are expensive. Yeah, lawyers <laughs> hurt wallet much. Uh, Barry's just asking random people, you know, like in the crowd. Hey, hi, hey, Bjorn. How much do lawyers cost? <laughs> <laughs> Question to ask. Um, well, it costs a lot, you say. Um, oh, no. uh, how much is it like gold? Is it like silver? Oh, it's gold. It's definitely oh there. Oh my god, Ooh, hell, hell much gold, hell much gold. Uh, my grandpappy lost his farm, you see. And I, uh, I, I, he, he spent his life savings, which was five whole gold. And that all just disappeared. Oh, I see. That was I, I know, one meeting. I know someone who has five gold. Okay, I'll ask somebody else. Hi, hi, Bearden. How much do lawyers cost? <laughs> continue this ad nauseum. Yeah, <laughs> yeah this goes continue. on for some time. Um, yeah, well, it cost a lot. So I got it between two gold to 500. So I got a pretty accurate assessment. Basically. I would recommend the madame at the very least doesn't leave our presence for a short while. She was, after all, present and complicit at the scene of whatever it is that happened on Eisenbahn Road. 
that more than the likely. Plan, Master Mercurian, I wish to preclude any violence happening to innocents as best we can. Zeliana! Huh? Yes. I have good news for you. Uh huh. You have two charges now. Oh, yes, of course. I, I imagined that was the plan. Yes, go make friends with our new companion. Right. Uh, very well, then. In that case, what exactly do we do from here on out? There is the problem of the lawyer, but we haven't really got the coin to pay it. I figure that if we, you know, deal with this little problem, perhaps there's some coin at the end of the road for us? You see, that's the reason I'm suggesting we stick with the law student here. She may be an experience, but she knows a damn sight more about the law than any of us do. I, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I just want to point something out. Baron. Huh? You say that elves bought out your mine, was it? Or was it... What exactly Lord. is the legal threat that's facing you? Or not. Rat folk. Rat folk, yes. Hey. Like, you don't believe in rat folk. Like, he asks a random stranger near him. <laughs> that's a good way to get in trouble. Right. Can it well, be a super drunk guy? <laughs> He's like, oh yeah, just trying to get away from me. <laughs> this is crazy dwarf. I put the warp stone in the water and uh. yeah, Oh my god, what the fuck? <laughs> oh no, it's a lot of it's Jonesworth. <laughs> We're playing in the water. <laughs> I'm tired of them putting chemicals in the water. Make the older skinny. <laughs> Very good. Um, this water's putting ogres on a diet! It's a huge conspiracy! No. <laughs> right. Now then, I would not advise that we refuse getting a legendary magister as our lawyer, perhaps in, in return for some favors that only an intrepid band of adventurers and a noble could possibly procure before going with the, and no offense, the shell-shocked law student that has recently seen someone get their heart torn out. Besides, isn't she more of a witness? You can be both. But it's not ideal. We could we could at least present what we've seen to the chief magistrate. Right, could you get us a meeting? Well, he's Please? gonna be at the festival court. <laughs> Poor fucking girl. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I like to imagine her all standing by she pipes and going, Shut up, NPC, we're deciding it for you. <laughs> it's like <laughs> She's just like, Maybe, maybe if I get them to go to the judge, I can look at the judge and be like, These fuckers can't me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Kirsten, if you're gonna be like that, I guess. I'm being I'm being very fair. It's everyone else who's twisted. <laughs> Dude, I'm okay. okay with just letting her go so she can go home. Yeah, so <laughs> she can be later. Her. She's gonna be a pit in a pit in a basement. And they're gonna be like <laughs> roping food down. To <laughs> what are you? Hey, she, what? You read that law book, or else we don't bring jerky again. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm gonna spend ten gold on a monkey just to punch her. <laughs> don't take offense easily, but I mean, I'm not suggesting that we kidnap her. I'm suggesting we hire her. <laughs> Oh, I know what family. you're suggesting. I, I hate this family. It's like, oh, what is this? He's just accessory to a potential rat murder. She'll be fine. <laughs> right. you. Well, then. I real bad. Look, if she gets no. murdered, we know there could be a trail we could fall. <laughs> <laughs> maybe maybe we'll if they murder her, we'll get a clue on where to go next. Yeah, <laughs> they'll the obviously lay a trail this time. Ever. <laughs> You're monsters. <laughs> <laughs> We'll, we'll put on we'll put it on watch. We'll do watches. I'll take first watch, and if she gets murdered on mine, I'll make a car sound. I'm going to explode. Okay. So I feel like a few, I feel like a fuel air bomb. See, if if we were Drukey, we would never have this problem. Exactly. I'm going to send you to the toilet. <laughs> right. Okay. So here's what we do. We're going to go and try and talk to the Magister, and I think that our friend here perhaps is in some form of danger, so 
I would like to propose two options. Either she can stay with us and we'll keep an eye out on you, I promise. I'm very good at keeping an eye out on people. Or we could perhaps get you a room in this inn, you know, somewhere a little a little far off and you can lay low, keep your head down for a bit and just try and get your mind off things, I. Eh? Okay. I can get you a bottle of wine. I uh, know. Are you old enough to drink? <laughs> yes. Um. <laughs> No, Dude, no. it was so fucked. She was like sixteen, like fucking twelve. Well, I mean, she basically is like that is her age, but it's oh not like they, it's not like she can't beer? drink in this world. Yeah, I, or, you're, what do you're... you think the drinking age is? The drinking age is two. Yeah, <laughs> the drinking age is when you can brandy. Go to bed, sweetie. Clug, clug, clug. <laughs> True. <laughs> right. So, what would you like to do? Uh, do you think you'll be safer staying with us, or would you Let's, like to stay at the inn here? We should go to the to the chief magistrate. I I know the way. I can take ah. you there. Yes. Let's okay. let's before we commit to a plan D. Let's first go with plan A and see where we wind up. Right. Excellent. Well, I'm gonna go and stable my horse here. Uh, I'll be right back. So everybody, just let's calm down and. We'll take good care of you, all right? I know that Arno's a little scary and that Mercurian is, you know, like that. But. We'll Baron's, take good care as of you. he's saying it, Baron's still eating some of the wax food, going, yeah. This <laughs> <laughs> bag just smacks. All right, we'll take care of you. Baron develops a taste for plastic. <laughs> and Baron, you know, sometimes he, sometimes he shits candles, but we love him. Hey! Hey, Baron! <laughs> I, I light up the way for all of us. You know, like, the deep lore behind that is is they all wore, like, candles in the mine and, like, when they were became hungry, they had to eat their own candles to survive. How do you think Baron exactly. always has a candle on his helmet? It's really? God, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, hi there. This is Baron. Don't get used to him. Don't get used to him. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> I won't. Hello? That diet is a... Uh... <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna stable my horse. I'm gonna gather up everyone. I'm gonna make sure that I uh, am hovering <laughs> protectively behind the law student, probably a little intimidatingly. Okay. Uh, just a just a just a wall oh. of elf kind of Sorry. looming behind this teenager. I thought of the Baron just saying, "It was like my brain used to wrinkle too much, so the wax helps smooth it out." <laughs> 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 but it's a family um, okay so leaving the journey then, you you make your way through the northern section of the Schaffenfest, which is dominated by a sprawling livestock market uh the air here is thick with uh and alive with the sounds and smells of thousands of beasts nice to get uh thousands of beasts and uh their busy handlers you can see there are two wide auction rings for larger animals, dozens of secondary rings for smaller and more specialized or specialist animals, and an unaccounted for number of well-guarded livestock pets. All farm animals are available here. Uh, so you're walking through areas with sheep, cattle, horses, pigs, poultry, but also donkeys, cats, dogs, and occasionally rarer creatures on offer. As you are walking, Baron, you are stopped no less than five times by people looking down at Nugget, looking at you. Oh, uh, I'll give you uh, five, five silver shillings for that one. <laughs> no, 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 fuck off. Keep going. Uh, uh, no, no, Fifteen silver shillings. It's, uh, it looks like a, a well-trained mutt. Well, yeah, yeah, that's cool and all, but the answer still no. Who? He's making certain nuggets real close. This, this thing is adorable. Look at its ears. I will give you five gold crowns for this uh, magnificent <laughs> breeded creature. Baron stops. <laughs> Looks at the man. I look at Nugget and I go, Do you remember the last two cities we were at, Nugget? Hmm. Nugget, you remember, right? You remember the plan that we always had if someone wanted to buy you out, right? <laughs> like, this is the saddest thing in front of the guy. No, <laughs> Just no. Like, he's like, like whispering. shaking his head, like, not like this. No, he, not he's, like he's whispering. This. And it's like, Nugget, I hope he'll remember. And a couple, t not, you know, a couple of series before, you know, like when he had to go, you know, for, for you know, for Uncle Hedgeman, who, who sent him out, you know, to kind of get some, you know, poisonous traps from the huge rats in the mines and stuff. 
And then uh, he took back and someone offered 10, cro 10 gold crowns, you know, for Nugget and everything, seeing how well he was doing with the rat problem there. That, uh, you know, he definitely sold him, and then, like, a, a little bit later, Nugget was able to slip away from him and then come right back to Baron. Like, yeah, but Nugget's like, I don't want to do this again, but I guess I'll oh, do Oh, Nugget, you don't have, you, like, you don't need to have that mystical voice in your head <laughs> tell you what's right or wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like there's some floating skull called a game master in your head telling you just to don't fuck this up, you idiot. On one hand, there's the skull being like, be a good boy, Nugget. On the other hand, there's Baron being like, gold, Nugget. <laughs> gold, Nugget. You can have the precious of bands, Nugget. All right, Mr. Dwarf. Um... Baron, give me a plus 20 charm animal test. Okay. Plus 20 okay. charm animal. Mm -hmm. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Uh, okay. Do it. Roll it. No, I, I will. Okay. Uh, I got plus two success levels. Nugget, like, nods his head, like, okay. Uh, yes, are you going to be, to be, uh, to be selling this animal? Yes. Oh, hey, Sergeant, uh, let me see the gold up front, though. Oh, for fuck's sake. Uh, yes, yes, I believe five gold crowns. Here you are. Cool. Baron takes it and he tests the gold, making sure it's not, like, wooden or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you take, like, a little bite. You can feel that there's that, like, light bit of give in the gold that you would expect to have. Was I? And then I look at the man and go, okay, then, uh, where would you like me to deliver the dog to you? I can get him pampered up for your nice and clean noodle if you need to, and I can deliver it straight to your house. No, I need, no, no, I need no, your no, entrance. No. You got a piece of paper and everything else? Well, no, sir, sir. I can't give you five gold crowns. I'll take the, the dog right now. Come here, boy. Was I? All right, Nugget. Was I? Was like, like you, and I kind of lean down the Nugget going, you know the plan. I was like, all right, go do a business with you. And I add five gold crowns. Yeah, of course. The, the man begins to, to walk off holding Nugget. like, And the camera is like looking at the man who's walking away. And like Nugget's head is poking out from like just beside the man's shoulder, looking longingly back at the party. All right. It's like, I look, at, I look at Nugget proud going, I've trained that dog. He knows exactly what to do. <laughs> Nugget farts. <laughs> I'm just looking at chat. No, I know. They're so, they're so mad at you. You are the, like you are the scum of the universe right now. And I'll take it because for once it's not me. <laughs> it's owned. Okay. Right. Okay. So. Um, yep. So, um, you are carrying on. Yep, we're carrying what? on. Yeah, uh, okay. Um, okay, sure. Yeah, forward, I guess. Without yeah. well, congrats on selling your dog, Zorin. <laughs> you, know, you don't know that. I said Nugget on a mission. <laughs> yes, but you don't know that either. <laughs> I know it. I told him to do it. We're going to be okay. in big trouble. Uh, there are obviously no consequences. Um, okay. So so yeah, at this point, you, you are carrying on your way, and you come to... Uh, the, you, you walk down the, the, uh, the livestock market um, where you can see that there's a grand parade of animals that are are going on like basically champions and primes for for like sex and breed and the king and the queen of each type of animal and like there's a whole thing going on here um and there's roars of bids and counter bids as people are are bidding on livestock and this is going on all the time uh, in fact, you start seeing some of the more strange and esoteric creatures, including even like a hippogriff that is currently like tied down for sale for several hundred gold crowns. Mm, then you carry on your way to find the the jousting lists in the section that is getting ready for the upcoming jousting tournament that is taking place here. 
Aren't and finally, you, you make it uh, to the area you want to go, which is the Festival Court in Stocks. Uh, the Festival Court, as the star points out, is a large tent with the town's coat of arms hanging outside that is set up, and there's, like, lines of uh, lines of people and, like, waiting to go into it, and you see at least two state army halberdiers that flank the entrance. Uh, but as you approach, uh, you, you start hearing this, like, this this moan like uh, uh, please help me please and um you see uh, you see in the stocks that line the approach is a dwarf and it is the saddest excuse of a dwarf you have ever seen no he, like is is like clearly like in the stocks uh has been pelted with fruit and other refuse someone has taken an animal bone and put it into his beard and twisted it around um he's like leaking from juices and there's like a, a group of kids that are throwing things at him uh, i can i can guess based on the fact that this image is mirrored that he is here for being a drunkard and a vagrant yes and you just hear, yeah, there's the sign underneath him that reads Drunkard and Vagrant. And he's just like, please, please help. Oh, we can't just leave him there. Well, we could. No, oh, bless you, ma'am. <laughs> I just no. need a loan. I just need a loan to get out of here. Alone. How, how much? Uh, 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 shoo, shoo. I shoo the kids away. Uh, and there's like like they, they toss one more before all running off and giggling into the distance oh I need to pay my fine it's only two silver shillings only two silver shillings you say only two can you spare two for for old Gotry? old Gotry Gurnison hmm. trapped here in the stocks <laughs> I'm gonna make a willpower roll Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> well, why are you making a willpower roll? <laughs> Liliana looks down at him. Oh, all right. Here, here. I'm going to hand him the two silver shillings. Are you all right? Guards, guards, I've got to the coin. Oh, bless you. Bless you, ma'am. And one of like the guards like comes over. Clearly gives you a look, Ziliana, like takes the coin, opens up the stocks. The the dwarf who is like again covered in refuse immediately like hugs you, like, uh, bringing uh, himself into your way. Uh, oh, yes, yes, you. You're the, oh, the the sweetest thing I've ever met. I, 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 this I, is I, eternal friendship. I, I'm swearing eternal friendship. They'll forgive the war of the beard for this. They will. This is a good <laughs> friend you are. And, uh, and hey, there. sir. But hey, hey, listen. I'm going to need you to, uh, you know, whatever you did to get yourself in there, a oh, yeah, drunken vagrancy. Yep. I'm going to yep, need yes. you to stop doing that. Well, I, I, could, I could try now that I have my best friend to guide me forever. <laughs> <laughs> Your best? Oh. You and me, we're going to be well, the closest peoples and friends. Well, I, a guardian angel has come down from the heavens to look after oh, me. You're so I'll just sweet. be there for you all the time, just oh, like you were there for me in my time of need. I should also point out he has not even bothered to remove the bone from his beard yet. I, oh, God. <laughs> gonna untwist the bone from his beard and just... Oh, Look at you! You're thinking of me all the I, time, I, truly oh. like an angel you are. Oh, this is the greatest in, in friendship. And I don't know why we ever went to war. It's, it seems so silly. And, you know, what we should be doing is just spending time together and maybe getting a drink. We should get a drink, you and I. That's a good idea. Perhaps sometimes like, sometime later, friend. Uh, we're going to enjoy the festival ourselves, but... Yeah. Oh, sounds great! I love the festival too! And now that it's you and me against the world, this will, this will be great, Will! I... Uh, well? 
<laughs> we'll get some drinks though, you know. Oh, we'll have need to go get some drinks. We'll get some drinks, no, but I, I need think, some I coin. Think there has been enough <laughs> liquor <laughs> here, and I. All right, like, well, that's okay if you. A if very you good think... day, my good friend. Uh, we if, have to if go. If you don't think I need a drink, now oh, that's okay because I'll spend the whole rest of the day with you. Then you and me against the world. <laughs> <laughs> I love this Rick and Morty bit. Oh my God. <laughs> um, okay, right, right. I see. Well, uh, in that case, um, I look I'm, helplessly. Over I'm gonna, I'm gonna lean down to Baron. Baron, pretend like you're gonna kill Zillian and see. So as you lean down, the whisper of the Baron, you see the Baron is not there. Where is Baron? Baron has been <laughs> trailing the, the man who has his dog. Because <laughs> they, because we are a team, and I, and he has, oh. and he has Nugget in his sights, and he goes, "Don't worry, boy, we're a team together, and this is the plan that we've always done. Everyone loves uh, yeah. you, but no one can have you but me." So, so we cut to you following the man, and like you realize what's happened. Uh, you realize that the man has immediately taken Nugget. And gone to put Nugget into one of the champion contests for best animal and like best sex and breed. And uh -huh. like as you've like found the man, you can see that Nugget has been like put up on this pedestal, and there's all these people like we're, we're very good, and like they're all clapping, and like there's voting mm -hmm. that's going on, and like oh yes. Uh, the winner is this nugget fellow. <laughs> All right, Baron, then. you utter fool. Why didn't you do this from the start? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and like at the end of all of this, like the, the nugget is declared the champion of this particular breed and sex. And, and like everyone's <laughs> cheering and like nuggets like looking like through the crowd directly at you, Baron. Like head Baron kind is of clapping. tilted to the sides. Baron and, like, is clapping like, for him. This, there's like they, they put the little like reef on him, you know, like little mm -hmm, mm -hmm. thing. Oh yes, and, and uh, to the uh, to 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 the current owner goes Here the, comes. the the award Here comes. of a uh, hundred crowns. And there everyone's you go. cheering for the man who like <laughs> like puffs and goes and goes up and collects it. And like during all of this, like Nugget is still just staring at you, Baron. <laughs> just like staring daggers at you. <laughs> Baron is so proud of him, and then he'll give the little whistle, which will hopefully indicate uh, the nugget. It's like it's time. It's time to go. Uh, yeah, and like there's like the, the whistle, and like the man like <laughs> like looks like looks sees you in the crowd. The the, the man's like shrugs as he's like approaches nugget, follows, and like looks at you, Baron. Oh. I don't want dogs. Terrible creatures. And he walks away, leaving nugget <laughs> with you. And like just Nugget is standing in front of you, just staring up. Like, I pet again, I kneel head down, is, like at the slightest angle. I like, pet him because I kneel and pet him, going like, "We've always been a team, Nugget. And out of all the gold and of all the things I've mined inside of inside the stack wall mines, you're the favorite Nugget I've ever had. Me and you." We've always been a team, and you executed your thing so well, good boy. And I basically, um, I pet, I pet my dog. I take him up with me and go, "Hey, we got five gold crowns, though, and that means I get to pamper you a little bit." Bro, good nugget. Now I join the party and then look at Mercuria and go, "What?" Yeah, as you come like walking back, and like this is, could you, oh, well, I'll, I'll spend the whole day with you, my new angel. Oh, oh no, well, you are at your you. side the whole time. I mean, you if really I can't drink, you. I have nothing in my life besides from drinking, except for you now. Yeah, my and I'm just coming up with Nugget, who has like like a for, like first place, has a reef and everything. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> come up, and then I assume like, Mercury, you now turn. I'm sorry we took this random ass stupid detour, but we've been feuding a little bit in DMs. <laughs> And this is kind of like, it's like, you better <laughs> fucking figure this out because I'm trusting you. <laughs> and and yeah, he decided like, to be like, a you dick. You better make that dog come back this episode, Thurston, or I will knife you. <laughs> so let me, let me break this down. 
Zorin, trade dog for five gold. Also, Zorin, complains at GM to make a solution no, for his No, no, <laughs> no. You heard me exactly what I said, that I would trade this dog to do crying. <laughs> In fraud. <laughs> you are so lucky you live several states away from me. Making you get to corruption. Drive there and shove a fucking glass bottle up your nose. But you know, I don't live several states away from you, my angel. I'll be you all. Okay, all right. All right. All right. Here, you go enjoy the festival. Uh. Stop drinking alcohol. Uh, can you, we have can you to spare, go. Can you spare a no. shilling or two? I have, sure? already, I have already spared two shillings. I want you to you take care of your stuff. one more. I, I mean, I could get us a drink. Baron comes no. up to the dwarf oh, no. and, and, and takes out one silver shilling and says, I'll give you one silver the fuck off. Okay. <laughs> Fuck First, off. He takes the silver shilling and immediately turns away and is completely forgotten about you, Ziliana, and you, Baron, and is like, <laughs> and is like heading towards the beer gardens. Oh, First damn one. it! Yes. While this has been going yes, on, Arno. And yes, Arno have been sitting at a nearby picnic table with Mercurian and the the law student. And they all the law student like... is standing in line for you because there is a line here. Right, so can I just be sitting there with Mercurian and we both have, like, non-alcoholic drinks, like juice or something? Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. We're just standing there, just, like, bags under our eyes. <laughs> watching <laughs> just, like, uh, I do want to apologize. I'm sorry, Speaker. <laughs> that I think we really skipped over you. I do want to say I'm sorry. <laughs> I feel bad. It's okay. It's all good. I'm living my life. You need to know that is the final point of why the peasantry are so lowly regarded around here. Jesus. You know, I admit to you, Arno, I came here, and I I don't think I came here hating dwarfs as much as I've come to. As he says that, <laughs> Baron comes up. <laughs> and it's like, oh, look what Nugget just made. I hand, uh, I spend uh, Mercurian a gold. I give Arnold a gold and I give Zilly a gold. Oh, I can find it. No, he did this all gold. by himself. Oh, uh, and he's good got boy. the first place ribbon on him. Oh. Mm -hmm. He is he the won best a, dog. He won a competition, he did. Oh. <laughs> Looks like you had fun, Nugget. Proof. Arnold's gonna turn quickly to Mercurian. Well, Master Mercurian, that is why. Even though you may have issues, it is best to keep them to yourself. A very, very difficult task you may now come to appreciate. Yes, well, I think I can keep my patience so long as I'm not shot again. Just drink your juice. Oh, God, I know. <laughs> well, according to that guy, all the grudges between elves and dwarves can be forgotten really easy. Oh, the uh, man in the stocks? Yes. Oh, excellent. I'll send word to Lothan. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> the word of the beard is forgotten. <laughs> we, bought a, we bought a dwarf a beard. <laughs> I'll let Finubar know. Oh, yes, they're going to be so excited. <sighs> All right. As this so is going on, the law, the law student, uh, Astara, she walks by. Uh, well, uh, there's some good news and some bad news. Arno's I'll start with to, the bad Arno's news. Arno's gonna pass her a bottle of juice. She takes a little bit of juice. Uh, well, the bad news is that the magistrate is not in. Alright. Uh, well, the news can only get better. But the good news is I know where he is. Alright. He's taking a break to go to Dr. Malthusius's Zoocopia. Malthusius? Oh. Malthusius's. Malthusiasis. Well, that's not a name that sounds a little skeevy. Arno's going to put his hand over his face and just kind of, like, drag it down, like, oh. It's not that far from here. It's just against the town wall. Have they managed to secure it better than the last time this place was in operation? Ah, uh, well, I've heard good things, and the chief magistrate seems very interested to go there. 
so he definitely so you really weren't kidding when you said he was a character he really enjoys that freak show uh, yes now friend you said you were a witch hunter correct yes you I might am, just yeah. want to tuck your uh, your your symbol of, of holy sigmar away since the doctor isn't too too keen on 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 your kind oh don't worry i'm none too fond of him either but i know salty and I was going to briefly take off the uh, the comet pins and hide the cuffs of his gloves that showed the uh, comet of Sigmar. All right, well, I can point it out to you. It's it's just the the, the, the big tent over there. And like yeah, she points to like up against the wall at the edge of town. There is a immense sign of Dr. Malthusius of Zuokobia. What exactly can you tell us about this Dr. Malthusius? Is? Um, uh, which would you prefer to do it, Thurston, me or you? Uh, you can give me a Lord Reichland test. Okay. Arno Arno knows about it at the very least. Oh, I know about it, which is why I was acting. But yeah. Uh, challenging or? Uh, plus twenty. Okay. I'll give you a thirty-four. Yeah. What do you know about uh, Doctor Malthusius Zucopia? <clears throat> Well, Master Macurian, if you must know, Dr. Malthusius is an individual who collects and curates a veritable freak show of varieties of mutants and other horrible atrocities. Flesh sculpted into horrible, awful shapes, either by some malign hand, or if you believe the rumors, his. And... Generally, it is a place to go to hum, haw, and point at the horrors of the world made manifest. But that sounds fucking insane, Arno. Yes, it is. It's disgusting. Is that illegal? That sounds so sad. It's legal enough. Legal enough the Church of Sigma can't do nothing about it. Oh. Right. Well, I suppose we have no choice but to try our luck with this Dr. Malthusius. Is, 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 uh, with any fortune, it might be connected to this dastardly chaos ring, and we might dispense with it quickly. All I'm going to say is you better watch your ankles. And Master Stack will just watch in front of you. Orky. Uh-oh. Well... And as you can expect from anyone who peddles around with mutants of various kinds, there have been the occasional uh, concerns regarding loose ones. Just a couple of years ago, I recall there being a story about some kind of horrible thing with like six legs, two arms, and the three heads of a goat running around. Horrible thing. Oh. Yes, yes. If I'm not mistaken, I... the mutating is something you humans are fond of. Well, I won't say fond of, but tends to happen to you. <laughs> you, you. You say fond of, it zooms in on Arno's face, and you correct yourself, it unzooms. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh. Yes. It's, so you become a mutant again through exposure to the dark gods failing to cast your magic correctly. Could you give me a rundown very quickly on mutants? I don't have the whole book to show you right now. It's just unpleasant. Mm. Right, fair enough. Well, we best put one foot in front of the other and see to this freak show quickly. All right. Arno's going to finish his bottle of juice and get up from the picnic table where they were watching the, <laughs> the fucking drunk beggar and Baron being a terrible pet owner. No, Baron I looks at his money. I'm, ha I'm having a good time with my business partner. All right, so you approach um, this semi semicircular oh. rope enclosure. Oh, yes. I, I also wanted to... Uh, gauge whether or not the law student is coming with us or if she's just like eh, am I, can I she's kind of wanting to hang back she's following but she's not gonna like go into the zookopia of course I'll, I'll wait here at this bench 
promise I won't go. I, I figured it would be bad if I did. If you hear, if something happens, run inside. We'll help you. I'll go back to the journey's end if anything bad happens. You got it. All right. All right. You, you All right. know who to call, friend. Yes. Uh, and like, so a semicircular uh, rope enclosure stands on the wall, marking out the edges of Dr. Malthusius's Zucopia. The back of it are two wagons, one of which has a banner on the side proclaiming Dr. Malthusius Zucopia, strange creatures from all corners, spelled with K, of the world. The marvelous, the bizarre, the disgusting, brought to you at, at an e enormous expense, uh, also spelled with K. No other like it in the world, with an E. The other wagon is a flatbed with a pile of stout wooden cages, all covered in oiled tarpaulins. Odd sounds come from within, um, and leaning against it are a stack, like a stacked of variety of signs for advertising, which presumably will be stacked around the ring rope. Um, when you are like walking by, you can see that the um, like it 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 appears like it's closed and is being opened um, and there is a dwarf who is near the edges of, of it shooing some of the people away um, and is like sort of shouting uh, oh, Oi! Oh, we ain't bloody started yet! Come back in and out! The doctor will see you then! And he's sort of like poking at people with a stick who get too closer try to peek a look under the tarpaulin that not being us, correct? We just got... No, no, no. You're, like, you're you're staying far enough away. You're kind of... I assume you're seeing that it's not quite ready. You're going to take take a moment to wait and allow allow this place to open. Because, assumedly, if the judge is coming here... Or the chief magistrate is coming here, I should say. Assumedly, if that's happening, like, you'll want to be here for when it opens, because he's probably coming from then. So I assume you're just going to kind of stake out nearby... Yeah, Arno is going to be keeping an especially open eye out for uh, the... I guess I... I I get... The, and this is just me speaking. I'm pretty sure that something stupid will probably happen with regards to a bunch of mutants, so I'm just having Arno keep an eye out in case something does. Okay. Okay. Um, so as, as this is going on, uh, the crowd is starting to swell even now. Um... And you can hear the thunderous tones of the show, show owner who, uh, like, is speaking. Roll up! Roll up! It's just one hour and you will witness the most original astounding display of zoological curiosities ever placed on exhibition in the entire length and breadth of our glorious empire. Welcome to Dr. Malthus's Zucopia, gathered together for your education, entertainment, and edifaction from the far corners of the known world at incalculable expense. The unusual, the bizarre, yes, even the faintly disgusting. You you will never see its like again, my friends. Not if you live to see a thousand years. And there's like, ooh, ah. Uh, and as this, uh, so like, Arno, you'd kind of push your way a bit to the front to sort of keep an eye on the, the, everything going on. Uh, you can see um, one of the, like, uh, one of the cages covered with the tarpaulins. You see a strange creature that appears to be a small three-legged goblin that is peering out of the cage. It's huddled miserably in a corner, arms folded uh, and tethered to a stake uh, by a chain attached to an iron collar. Uh, Arno is... Can I roll to be filled with disgust? Absolutely. I'm not rolling to be filled with disgust. He's filled with mm -hmm. disgust. He, okay, he is filled with disgust. <laughs> um, the, the dwarf who is, who is around... Uh, seems to be preparing. Um, and upon seeing the dwarf, the goblin seems to panic and yanks hard at the iron collar around its neck, desperate to get away. And then the collar snaps. Uh, and as it snaps, the, the dwarf looks up shocked, and the, the goblin actually squeezes through the bars of the cage and starts to run. <laughs> it is running straight in your direction without any heed of where it is going. Oh, boy. Uh, Arno is going to see this as an opportunity to let out some of his frustration against the mutants and possibly help Dr. Malthusius or whoever the hell. And he's going right. to aim a punt at the, uh, at the goblin to try and kick it back to the dwarf. 
Okay, uh, you know what? Uh, can you give me a challenging melee brawl? Challenging, sure. Okay, don't fit. Those bullies won't bother me now. I'll give you a 27. I Yay! You are, you are able to, like, catch this goblin however you want to. Like, you can describe it to me how, how you, like, catch this goblin that is, like, rushing off. Again, it's got three legs, so it's sort of, like, running in a weird manner, but kind of is more, like, worried about the dwarf that was handling the cages than you. Uh, Arno will rear back a kick as it is coming basically directly towards him, and with a swift boot... He will punt it skyward for a few seconds as it comes crashing down onto the dwarf. Um, as, uh, as you kick, Baron will see a light and he'll whistle, go, Ah, oh, yeah. You want to make a blood, pro blood ball player yet, Arnold? <laughs> Um, and as that happens, like, Dr. Malthus, everyone's kind of shocked, and Dr. Malthus comes over as, as the, the, the dwarf showman is like, grabbed the goblin and rechained him up. Oh, thank you, thank you, friend. I'm so grateful in recovering my exhibit. Ah, well, uh, certainly you, you should be rewarded. Uh, these are all your companions here, these three with you. Oh, I bet we are, sir. Ah, please, please, please. And he, like, reaches in and pulls out a pouch and passes each of you one silver shilling. Uh, please, 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 come watch the show for free. Free of charge, free of charge. Thank you again. Arno will tip his hat and do a flourishing bow with his arm behind him. So oh, very, splendid. Good, very good. I was quite worried about you. You had a bit of an air to you, but I can tell you, a fine connoisseur of eccentricities. Arno's uh, going to give a, a like wide grin, but you get the sense it's completely false. Come, come, we shall, we shall enjoy the events here. Uh, please, 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 uh, take take a seat. We'll, we'll get everything prepared. Uh, your, the finest seats for, for, for our heroes, everyone. And then there's like a cheer as everyone's like looking at you. Yeah. Oh, I don't want to be seen here. Yes, I'm kind of going a little bit behind Zilliana, kind of shielding my face. <laughs> One time I don't. It's a freak to. show. I don't know what I don't want to know what everyone at Ultron is going to say. <laughs> I do admit it's a rather dreadful optics. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, you're all like you're all like seated together. And Indeed. Yes. There's some time as like people are starting to file in, so you have some time to talk about what's going on. Like you've got a bit of privacy where you are right now, at least. Uh, all right. Step one complete. No. Uh, surprisingly easy. Anybody see the magistrate? Uh, can we do a perception? Can I have perception to look around at the crowd, see if we have a, a powdered wig wearing fop laying around? Absolutely. Yeah, I think that's fair. I'll make one too. Plus, uh, plus twenty. I'm gonna need wow. that. Wow. Why am I at a minus ten? Uh, because you're encumbered, I think. Oh, wait, wait, I shouldn't be. I got rid of the uh, crossbow. One sec. Four degrees of success. Four degrees of success. Uh, you, with four degrees of success, you're able to to point out and like spot and point out. I also have four. Um, okay. Oh, it's the quaff. The quaff gives you a minus ten. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, that's annoying. Oh well, whatever. Yeah. Um, I mean, protect your head or be bad at perceiving things. That's fine. Um, but yeah, you're you're good. Uh, looks like it. so. The two of you are quickly able to to determine the chief magistrate has come in, uh, along with two state guards. They don't appear to be halberdiers, but you can tell they're like state guard types who aren't wearing uniforms. They're just wielding like state weaponry, like swords, and they have shields over their backs. Uh, and they're they're giving like a wide berth to allow the chief magistrate to sit on his own in one of like the sort of private boxes that have been set up. Okay, so he's definitely up and away out of the out of our direction. Yeah, yeah he's kind of like of, uh, he's you're you're still in like fine seating, but he is a bit he is a bit further away from you. Like he's Fair in his enough. own private thing. You're not going to be able to get up right now. So. Mm. Okay. Well, perhaps it might behoove us to attempt to greet him, keep track of him. Also. Important. Watch his reaction to the festivities. 
if he loves this garbage, then, well, that'll be good to know. And at least he's seen your face, Arno. Well, your hat. They all know who I am, at the very least. And that was the first step. Arno, can you give me an intuition check? Mm, okay, I'll give that to you. Thank if you, you dare. I do. Just challenging? Uh, I'll give you a plus 20 to this. This is going to be it. Uh, yeah, 95. I'm gonna fortune that. Okay. Because I got two and I've not used any, so I'll try that again. Sure. You done it again. Do it up. Doing it. That's fucking worse. Ooh. My ass. Ooh. Okay. Uh, there's a lot of people. You're not able to have, like, quite intuit anything from the crowd, but... You can tell that the fellow Dr. Malthusis has begun looking around and sort of like taking in everything in here. Um, here's the part. He has like a fine hat with feathers on it, uh, a beaten up jacket, uh, like a, a very bright, vibrant shirt and cravat. He looks very, uh, very um, traveled. Mm hmm. As, as this is all going on, um, and then the, the, the dwarf, Gruni, uh, seems to be looking at the things as well, and then the Heinz Richter has sat down. Uh, there's, there's kind of a hush that overtakes the crowd as Dr. Malthusis takes to the center after a good 40 minutes of, like, you meeting and everything getting set up, and the, the, the cage is being... And he begins moving the first cage in. And Dr. Lucis sort of addresses, Welcome, welcome, everyone and all, to this extravagant, extraordinary, and extrapolative uh, event that is about to take place. I look forward to showing you all sorts of things from across the world and beyond. Things that you would never believe, things that you would never think to be, to be existing. But first, I shall have some extraordinary creatures to begin with. I, I wish to begin with something very close to home. From... Our own empire, whether you could believe it or not. I would like to present to you the first creature in my collection. The horrendously hairy horror of Hockland. And like with that, there's this, this drape that pulls off one of the cages and you see this immense hairy figure the size of an ogre that almost on cue beats its chest as, as, the, um, as the drape is pulled off. Um, do any of you have any good skills for identification of structures? I mean, look, I don't think so. Um, Otherwise, I, it's going I, to be uh, an intelligence test. It might. Laura Reichland. <laughs> the best thing I've got is second sight. No, so you could just give me intelligence checks at minus 10. Intelligence? <laughs> nope. Nope. Oh, wow. oh, two degrees of success. Uh, I finally failed. Okay. Uh, well, so so Arno, you recognize that this is not a human. This is an ape. Uh, Mercurian, you recognize it specifically as the long-haired ape uh, that is common around the area of Marienburg. It's it's not a human or, or a mutant. It's just an ape that's been put in a cage. And, like, people I'm... are going like, Oh, oh, oh to think man could devolve into such things. Straight from Marienburg! Oh, I hate you. Fuck this guy. <laughs> <laughs> you know we're not here to debunk his show, right? No, this is this is this is speaker in me happening listen, right now. Listen. I see how this fucking game is played. Listen, I I'm Mercurian is dissociating in front of the pollution factory. We, we, I, my Mercurian thinking is, I know what this is. This is just an ape. I was kind of horrified at first. Now I'm just annoyed. And if this guy in the booth is going to respect anything, it's going to know what the fuck you're talking about. Uh, he, like, turns to you and, like, waves the cane. Well, then. Well, 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 it appears we have someone who is most educated in things that they are not educated in, but that is all right because we will have something that will put even their misbegotten beliefs to rest. I bring to you our next, our 
truest form. The dastardly one-eyed dog of Dieseldorf. And um, another turp comes on. And this is a human who has a single eye in their forehead and is looking around, blinking wildly, also chained in place and like has a has a kind of like a gag over his mouth as as he's looking around in, in horror with a single blinking eye. Um you see it? it, it this so is you, an actual mutation. I see, I see. And like everyone is aghast. Uh and like Arno, you would know that like it is incredibly illegal to have to have someone with like an actual mutation. Arno is going to, in the best interests of not ruining Baron's chance of getting his mind back, uh, is going to allow this one to slide. And as you're, like, letting this slide, you're, you're, you're sort of looking back at Chief Magistrate, like, conspicuously, and you see his, like, mouth is a gasp, and then he does the little golf clap. <laughs> Arno will mimic this and clap heartily. Imagine you have the biggest I, frown on your face and all you just see him just like pissed off like mm. <laughs> Yeah, like uh, this is the uh, Citizen Kane. Kane from Citizen yeah. Kane where he's yeah. is pissed off and clapping. Yeah. Um okay. So so yeah, this is uh this is this is certainly a thing. Uh and then like Dr. Malthus just kind of continues to chuckle. <laughs> of course, of course, of course. <laughs> can't quite can't quite down talk this. This is a strange oddity that no one has ever seen before. Thus you can see that this is not some import. This is something true from the foreign edges of the world, something strange, but this is not the only thing I have. Because let me tell you of something that has never been spotted in these lands, but we have brought it here. The immeasurable mob of the middle mountains and like the tarp comes down and you see what can only be described as like a red ball that's like maybe the size of two basketballs put together it has some like spiked protrusions on its back um big eyes beady eyes and tiny tiny two tiny feet at its front and it's like mouth opens to reveal just just teeth its mouth actually splits it's almost like half of its size and it it's just like and it like immediately rushes against the chain and starts trying to like bite at the bars and it's it's moving around biting everything and everyone is like recoiling back like oh. and like someone's like oh the green skins use things like that. oh my oh my as this like maw mouth is just biting at everything Hmm. Neat, Baron says. Don't like that. All right, all right. We'll get on with it then. Our next thing. Oh, you've seen it before, a little preview, but now I present to you the ghastly three legged goblin of Grissenwald. And as he says this, like, the, the, the dwarf Gruny. Uh, like begins to take the goblin out, but suddenly it turns and bites Gruny's hand, and Gruny like recoils back. Ah! And like the the crowd panics uh, as people get up and see this goblin running free once again, and like you see Gruny just like swearing as the goblin is running around. Um, and like suddenly people have got up, stood up in front of you and turned to like try to get away. And like the two guards by by the chief magistrate have moved to look around, uh, protecting him. And you can't quite see down the lower level anymore because like all these people have stood up and there's like a general panic. Do we, do we see the goblin? Uh, well, you see the goblin bite and then like people start freaking out and standing up, blocking your line of sight to the goblin. Um... Arno's going to stand Arnold. up as well. Oh, okay. No, 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 it's okay. You, you stand up and been look at Arnold going, I think we might want to keep an eye on the matter street. But if I, if I were to only look for a distraction, this would have been the most, this would have been the best thing that ever happened to anybody wanting to do anything. Yes, but we do need to worry about the goblin looking for our way out as well. We're thinking we can oh, use that as leverage. Okay, and the elves, what are you two doing? I can't believe people paid money to get to see an ape, a man with a third eye, and a meatball. 
That was so dreadful, Ziliana. <laughs> you don't even stand up. <laughs> I was, was expecting. Yeah, I was expecting that I was going to be disgusted at mankind's inhumanity to man. Instead, they essentially found a man with a single third eye, a monkey, and a goblin. Well, I think the goblin's becoming a bit of a problem. I'm going to stand up, uh, and I'm just going to start kind of shouldering okay. my way through the crowd can, toward can where I, I saw the goblin. Ziliana <laughs> gives me perception yeah, check yeah. that mine is dead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I think Mercurians should be at minus 20, because he is clearly... He is no, thinking... you don't even get a person. You aren't even standing up. You're just like, fuck this. I oh, like, yeah, no. Dude, Mercurian is just sitting under his arms, because he's like, I get a you know, minus maybe one. we should should start a freak show. That would go over better. <laughs> better. Uh, and like, yeah, business. like, yeah, so what's happening is, like, Mercurian's distracting, like, Arno, and, like, Baron's also distracting Arno as Arno's looking around. So, yeah, is kind of like, okay, whatever, Mercurian stands up, looks around. And, like, you see just in time to see the, the goblin has, um, like, moved into a small hole uh, in the town wall. Um, where you see, like, a chunk of iron grating has, like, rusted away. And he's, like, gone into the grating and, like, snuck in it. Oh. Uh, as this is happening, like, people have, like, like been panicking, but, like, some watchmen come in. Hey, calm down, calm down! And, like, the town watch have kind of come in, and there's, like, a, a score of them. Like, six people start, like, sitting back down. Uh, I see it, I see it. I'm going to run toward the grating. Uh, has it already, like, snuck inside or kind of, like, yeah, yeah, it's like, in and, like, gone in, it? like, Yeah, yeah, no, no. So you rush towards the grating and, like, as you get to it, it takes you a while because the crowd is blocking your way. You manage to get to it, but you can tell immediately that the grating is incredibly difficult to enter. Like, it's one of those moments where you're running towards it. Like, I'm going to get it, but, like, it's getting smaller and smaller as you reach it and you realize, like, it was probably a tight squeeze for the goblin and there's no way you're fitting in it. Yeah. Oh, shit. Um, uh, uh, can, can one of the town guards tell me where this particular thing leads? The magic uh, right. Walk it over. <laughs> you, uh, elf woman, you I... three there, you, Dr. Rathus, over here with me. And, the, like, the, 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 the jowls on this man are, like, spasming as he is walking his like lawyerly robes crashing as he like leads you over to the side wall as the state troops keep all the people away oh dear yeah I'm following him <laughs> oh, Do, um, you know where this goes oh, it goes into the sewer no, sir. Well, all right then <sighs> Dr. Malthusis this is so <laughs> and like Dr. Malthusis kind of comes forward, like gives like a flourish bow. Well, of course, my exhibits sometimes get out of hand, but we are very careful that all our displays are completely legal. It is no more than a goblin finds us. <laughs> a goblin with an extra leg now in the sewer system. <laughs> and like, the, the, he's just. A... We're gonna have to catch it. Magistrate. Yes. If you don't mind me interjecting, me and my friends have a uh, certain penchant for doing adventurely duties, and in fact, we have ourselves a little rat catcher, my friend, right here, and he will I... gingerly push uh, Baron forward proudly with the candle on his head. Hi, hi, Bill. All right, Bill. Hey, I mean, Doctor Malthus is kind of is. I will offer a reward of five gold crowns for the safe return of the goblin. As a concerned member of the citizenship, it's important that I play my part in securing this menace. Very, 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 very good. I, I too will put five gold crowns from the city for ten gold crowns if if you can go down into the sewers and find this menace. Magistrate, well, we would accept such a gift. We actually were coming here initially to do business with you, so if instead of the far of gold you would prefer to do business with us... If we are to return this thing to him. I'll still give you the five gold and do business with you. You can have my time and earn the city's gold if you deal with this menace. I'll also say that you can have your accommodations at the, the journey's end, uh, which is a comfortable inn nearby if you've not already been there. 
The next three days on, on the city's expense. That's quite generous. Very well then. It's better we better get started then. You will have to go into the sewers. This menace. This three legged goblin must be captured. And then, then I will talk to you. All right. And then he like turns and like walks off. Dr. Matthews, I... yes. Ah, uh, very good, my friends. Yes, 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 quite, uh, this would be great. You shall go and capture the goblin and bring him back alive. It's very important and worth a great deal of coin for me. Thus, I will give you a great deal of coin for doing this. I do hope you don't mind if the little beast is a bit more roughed up than when he was here before. Ah, that will teach him not to try to escape again. Good, good, good friends. Arno will nod, continuing to frown. All right. Then I guess we'd better get into the sewers quickly. There's a manhole down that street. If we know the way through to it, we could probably make our way to where this thing is heading. Mercurian, you might want to put your coat in your pouch. Yeah, I'm assuming at this point Mercurian has kind of wandered back, being like, And a monkey? If a monkey would impress And it's like, all right, Mercurian, we're going to the sewers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Master Mercurian, we are going to the sewers. For the goblin. Yes. Oh, good. We're going to the sewers. Oh, we're going to the sewers. Uh, I'm going to take off my coat. And now, please, don't stitch anything into this or else I'll kill you. Then I'll hand off my coat to Malthus. Yeah, Malthus just takes it. Oh, right. Well, of course. Yes. Fine. Uh, good Excellent. Luck. Good Excellent. Luck. How much was that monkey? No. A good man never tells. Well, <laughs> he never tells his monkey secrets. I respect the professional. Uh, and I'm going to head into the sewers. Uh, and I think with you all walking into the sewers of Bogenhofen, that oh. is where we will end today's session. <laughs> Before it completely ends, I do want to just mm -hmm. tell the, the law student to head back to the end because we're going to be a while. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, perfect. With that, I hope everyone enjoyed this episode of Warhams. Hope Ooh. everyone super enjoyed it. Thank you all so much for being here. And as we go through the credits together, I want to start reading off all bits and scribbles that people have done for us for helping support Ooh. the show. What? Yes. Subs so, I love that. Wow. For all the subscribers and everything else, to be yeah. sure. We had a couple, we had a couple little more as we uh, joke, got a blessing. Wow. Again, uh, wow. I'm again, those yeah, of you wow. tinkering and subscribers, thank you, Mika. Uh, thank you, Wiko, for your stuff. We really thank you. Thank you so much, Diamond Girl Ice, for your wow. Twitch subscriber. Wow. Thank you, and Jamie, that, for too, your yeah. bitch. Thank you, Zero Car, for your 200 bitch. Thank you, Cozy Bite Bear, for your subscriber. Random paperclip. Thank you so much, wow. Ashton Harlow, for your subscribe. No, wow, I like you. Thank please. you. And thank you, everyone, for following and everything else. And so with that, thank you, Speaker D, who has been playing. I've been playing Mercurian, the High Elf. And you can find me at Super Snake Kick and on YouTube at Speaker D. Thank you so much, Odoroshi Rider, who has been playing. Yes, I've been playing Ziliana. You can follow me uh, on Twitter at Odoroshi uh, Rider. Uh, thank you for uh, thank you for tuning in. And thank you so much, Aaron Dale, who has been playing. Arno Fleischman, uh, interrogator, soon to be witch hunter at some point, maybe. And you can see me at on Twitter at Aaron Dilio. Uh, we are currently between projects right now, but. As more information surfaces, you will be able to go there to find me and whatever the hell we're going to be doing from here forward. Indeed. Yes, and thank you so much to our Game Master, Thurston Hillman. Hello, hi, you can find me on the internet at On Call GM. I'm going to be, I don't know, role-playing the guy who got like a thousand or a hundred gold crowns or whatever it was, screwing over Baron. Very good, very <laughs> good. Good job, Nugget, mm -hmm. we love you. Nugget. And so with that, everyone, we're now going to leave and leave you to the Patreon rolls. So thank you all so much yeah. for uh, supporting us, uh, everything else, visiting the show, everything. It really does help out uh, if you people attend live streams, watching the VODs, all that fun stuff. And uh, apologies for not getting the previous VOD up fast enough. It's just been a heck of a time. So with all of that, thank you all so very much. We love all of you. Visit us at warhams.tv if you need more information or to visit our schedule and also see how you can also support the show and our future endeavors. Love you all very much. 
And goodbye. Baker, yeah, baby. Oh, turn off your puppet. Bye. 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 We love you very much. Bye. 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 Bye.